Hello everyone, good afternoon. Ayan, welcome to our um, event this afternoon. Ayan, sa mga kakapasok pa lang, hello po. I hope um, everyone is feeling great. I hope um, lahat na po tayo nakapag-lunch. And yeah, so let's wait first for the rest of the participants. Kung wala pa po dito yung mga classmates nyo or yung mga kay gear level nyo po, um, you can message them. You can you could share the link ng ating Zoom sa kanila so that um, they could also join us for this afternoon. Ayan. Hello. Hi, Ayan. Um, <laughs> so we are joined by another beautiful lady <laughs> this afternoon. <Hi. laughs> Hello, guys. Ayan. Okay, so um, before we proceed, um, let me just um, read to you some of the house rules, um, webinar rules, na um, kailangan nating tandaan for this afternoon. Kirtney, shall we? Are you ready? Okay. okay. Yes. Okay, so first, um, we encourage everyone to open their cameras if they can, if your internet connection allows you to um, come join us and open your camera. Um, meron din pinag-share na background image si Lakritney. So, unfortunately kasi ako naka-phone ako ngayon. Eh. <laughs> Kaya hindi ako, hindi ko kayang um, mag- magkaroon ng background but yeah. um, and then the next one please mute your microphones especially when the lecture starts how about the rest Kirti? do you have other reminders para sa ating participants natin this afternoon yeah so for later all questions should be posted in our chat box so the questions must be connected to the topic and we will only be recognized after the lectures and Lastly, so be yourself and be comfortable lang. So we aim ni April na hmm. magi interactive lang ang um, webinar natin for today. Ayan. Um chika chika lang tayo this afternoon, right, Kirtney? Yes. Mabarin <laughs> okay. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So another reminder lang. Um, please fill out the registration form kung hindi pa po. Um. For the Secretariat Committee, can you please post um, the link ng registration form sa ating chat box para sa mga hindi pa po nakaka-register, you, can, you could register na po. Because at one, um, i-close na natin yung registration form. Ayan. And so, also, um, this later, as we finish the... As we... If we finish the discussion, um, magkakaroon po tayo ng open forum. So, um, you could write down your questions kung may maisip kayo or if you uh, have some questions na gusto nyong i itanong sa ating speaker later on, um, magkakaroon po tayo ng time allotted for that. Okay? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, on behalf of all the facilitators from the second year students of Bachelor of Arts in Psychology of the College of Liberal Arts, we would like to extend our warmest gratitude to everyone present here today. So, yeah. I am Tutu Love Bagasina. And I am April Hazel Villar, and we are your Masters of Ceremony for today. Okay. Yay! Yeah. Okay. So, magkamustahan muna tayo. Ayan. Kamusta ka, partner? Oh, tatawagin kitang partner ngayon, Kirti. Ikaw ang partner ko. I feel so honored. Wow! <laughs> wow! Okay, okay kamusta ka? Ako. Maganda ang gising ko today. Maganda ang gising ko today kasi natulog ako. Ay, oh, diba? perfect. Congrats na ako. Okay, kumain ka ba, Kirti? Did you I have guess. your lunch? Okay. Of course. That's good to hear. Ikaw ako ba? Naman, kumain ka na ba? Yes. As a, friend, I, as a friend. Ay, as a partner pala. As a partner. Busog na busog ako ngayon, partner, sa pagmamahal. Mm. 
Ah, yeah, I'm sorry. All. <laughs> okay. So, ayan. Yung mga participants ba natin, kumain mm-hmm. na ba kayo, guys? Pwede kayong mag-react dyan o kaya mag-chat kayo sa chat box. Kumain yes. na ba kayo as a friend? Mm-mm. Okay. Speaking of, kam- kakamustahin natin ang audience natin. Um, I think um, we've prepared something, di ba? Um, a mental health check-in. Let's let's see that. Ayan. As you can see sa presentation, we have a mental health check-in. And whatever your mood today, you can send it sa um, sa chat box natin kung anong color ang anong feeling nyo, ang color ang um, color ng heart na nagre-represent sa inyo ngayon. Ikaw ba, Kirtney? Anong, anong heart ka ba today? Anong color ng heart? Wait, so first, basahin muna natin kung ano ba yung mga meaning ng mga colors na yan. So Ay, for okay, the okay. heart, I am full of love and doing amazing. Wow. wow. So for the orange, I am feeling pretty good. And yellow, I am functioning but feel anxious or worried. Green, I feel lost or broken inside. Uh, okay. For the blue naman, I'm happy and feeling great. For the black heart, could be better, could be worse, but I'm okay. For the pink, we have I'm having a hard time and wouldn't mind having someone to talk to. And for the last one, we have the violet um, or purple. I'm in a really dark place and need someone to um, what's that? To talk to. To, to talk to. Yeah. Okay. Um, para sa akin, I... Oh, sige, ah, sige. Okay. <laughs> para sa akin, I feel like I'm at the color orange. Kasi I'm wow. feeling pretty good since this is our first event, first webinar para sa watch natin. I'm, I'm really excited. Lalo na we are joined by our um, speakers, the and other personalities na magjoin sa atin ngayon especially dun sa participants natin for this afternoon how about you Kirti? um ako naman para sa akin at dahil favorite ko ang color blue yes, ayan, yes. gusto ko yung blue heart kasi connect naman di ba i am happy and feeling great just yeah. like you, sobrang excited ko para sa ano, para sa webinar natin for today. Lalo na andyan si Dean Star. Hello, Dean Star! Hi, Dean! Good afternoon po. Kayo ba, guys? Hi! Hi, Dean! Hello, okay. Dean! Hello, good afternoon! Good afternoon, Hello. Dean! Oh, sabi Very ni Bay. <laughs> Can you see me? Yes, yes po! Yes, Okay, thank you. Oh, my my color is orange. Oh wow! <laughs> Same tayo din. <laughs> Same po tayo. I'm also feeling pretty good. Oh, I'm, feel, that... I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty. Oh, and yes, good. of course. Yes. Oh, oh talaga yeah, napaka pretty talaga pretty ng ating din. Good. Not just pretty good, but pretty and good. Yes, we can just agree more. <laughs> okay. About ano, let's let's see sa mga nagcha-chat. Sabi ni Napupulo ng blue heart. Yeah, sabi ni Kim. Uh, uh, blue din kay Kim. Kay Ate Desiree, we, she also says blue. Kay Ate Angeline, blue din. Bea says orange. Kyla, orange. Ate Charlene, orange. Ayan. Yan. Kay Kiana, blue din. That's nice. It's nice na ganito ang mood natin ngayon. Okay. So, ngayon na napag, na-set na natin ang mood, um, at this point, um, may, ni- may we ask everyone to settle down na sa inyong seats as we watch an audiovisual presentation for the prayer to be followed by the National Anthem and the Yusan Hymn.
universe, the infinite wisdom, the cause of all that is good. We are truly grateful for this opportunity to gather together as a community despite the challenges we face each day. Yet you remained and gave us strength to carry on the responsibilities of bearing intelligence and using them for better purposes. We now humbly ask you to join us in our endeavor to explore the wonders of life in the world for knowledge's sake, that in whatever we learn today, we become more grounded to you, who is truth, who is love. We pray that you bless our speakers, the fount of your infinite knowledge, that they can share something worthwhile despite the limited time we have. They can channel all they know and share to us the beauty and truth of living as your child. We pray that you guide our participants, the seekers of your boundless knowledge, that they may continue to persevere in the search and be deemed worthy to share what they learn from today's session. Sanctify us, O Lord, not because we are worthy of it, but because we believe in your love and mercy, that at the end of the day, we can take home something that's amazing and meaningful. This we ask and pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas.
mga kababa. Legacy of Virgilio Enriquez, Psikolohiyang Pilipino believes in the use of psychology in helping to develop a national culture that is Western-dominated but considers the aspirations of the Filipinos. Psikolohiyang Pilipino helps us to understand their own personality and culture better. It provides Filipinos with the ability to distinguish themselves from foreign influences. Now, to formally open our program, let's give a virtual round of applause to our PSY 105 instructor, Ma'am Narisa Beatriz, for her opening remarks. To our university president, Attorney Santiago D. Ortega, Jr., to our Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Jose Balisteros, to our competent and lovely Dean, Dr. Estrella Arroyo, to all LA faculty, students, and viewers of this webinar, a pleasant day to all of you. I am pleased to welcome you all to the webinar entitled, Pagkakakilanlan sa Ekolohiya ng Mga Pilipino. Psikolohiya Pilipino or Filipino psychology is a study of concepts and methods in the field of culture and psychology, giving meaning to psychological reality based on language and worldview of the Filipino. It is in this context that this activity aims to promote the understanding of the Filipino well-being, which will increase your knowledge in various personalities of the Filipinos and be involved with diverse cultures in the Philippines, and as well foster your insights on the impact of Psikolohiyang Filipino of today. So this afternoon, we will be joined by two competent speakers, which will broaden our understanding on this matter. We hope our speakers will be able to inspire you. And by the way, congratulations in advance to my second year psychology students for organizing this activity. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I formally open the program. Ayan. We would like to thank Ma'am Neri for officially opening our program with her insightful message. Now, at this point, Point, let us hear a special message, an inspirational message coming from our one and only star ng ating department. And 
That is Dr. Estrella T. Arroyo, the Dean of the College of Liberal Arts. Let's give her a big virtual round of applause. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Dean. Good afternoon, Dean. Okay, thank you. No, thank you for inviting me no, to give this special message on your webinar on psikolohiya ng mga Filipino. I understand that this is all about understanding of the Filipino identity. Truly, we Filipinos have unique personalities. We have the unique psyche. And therefore, we should have a special way in dissecting our ourselves, no it's necessary, no in knowing our own selves. So uh, Professor Neri Beatriz you know, mentioned a lot about uh, psychology young Filipino. And uh, well, I am tempted not to speak anymore. No, because she, she said everything you know, that I wanted to, uh, to say this afternoon. However, uh, it's just a reiteration maybe, you know, because she talked about the concepts uh, on uh, civility, on how we should mingle with people, how we participate in community affairs, how we conform to accepted standards, and how we deal with people. So based on trust, oneness in feelings, empathy, sympathy, and openness, we identify ourselves with other Filipinos. Psikolohi Yang Filipino emphasizes our identity and national consciousness, social awareness and involvement, psychology of language and culture, and applications and basis of Filipino psychology in health problems, in health practices, in agriculture, art, mass media, religion, among others. Thank you for initiating this activity, Professor Neri Beatriz. And thank you so much also, no, Ms. Cherry Ann Villar, our esteemed speaker. And to you sophomores, congratulations for having successfully put together your efforts to carry out this activity with Elan. I would like to emphasize the word Elan, which is E-L-A-N. Many of us, you know, hopefully, no, we will learn more no, from the topics to be discussed this afternoon. And I hope to learn more too, no, because as a Filipino, even though I am a Filipino, no, I do not have full understanding no, of who I am no, because, well, I am aware of my identity. I am aware that I am a mixture of so many cultures. And I hope that I will get answers due to the questions on who I am. Am I really a Filipino? Do I qualify to be a Filipino? No, in terms of uh, the concepts you know, of civility, of uh, how we deal with people, how we understand ourselves, how we position ourselves in the society and in the community, in our country and in the world. So, but. One thing I know, I am so proud being a Filipino. Maybe I cannot imagine myself if I have another nationality. I do not know how my life will be. So uh, with this, uh, I have already uh, said my thanks to you. I had already expressed my congratulations to, to all of you, uh, young ladies and gentlemen second year students in particular. I wish to greet you again. Thank you. Good afternoon. Thank you so much, Dean Star, for the very wonderful message. So from ano pa lang, from Ma'am Neri and from Dean Star, marami na agad tayong natutunan. Ano pa lang yun, basic yes. pa lang. <laughs> so our event for today will will surely give us a lot of learning. Hindi ba April? Yes. Very I, excited ako sa mga matututunan today. Ako din. So, so introduce are you ready? our guest speaker. 
may I call on one of the facilitators, Ms. Bea Panates. Thank you, Courtney. Okay, so um, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is an honor to introduce you our speakers for today's event. So moving on with our first speaker, she is a graduate of BS Psychology and completed professional education under 18 units in Pamantasa ng Lungsod ng Maynila. She graduated Master of Arts in Industrial Psychology at Ilohio Amorigigas Institute of the Philippines. She possesses a certificate of eligibility of honor graduate from the Civil Service Commission. She finished Master's in Industrial Psychology at Ilohio Amorigigas Institute of Science and Technology. She also took six units and master in special education in Pamantasa ng Lungsod ng Maynila. She studied basic sign language course at Catholic Death Care last August 2009. She currently teaching at San Juan National High School assigned by the DepEd San Juan Handling edu Education sa Pagpapakatao. She worked as, 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 as Assistant Manager for Recruitment at TFB Incorporated, which she is responsible for recruitment and selection of the applicants, employer relations, and other HR matters. She has almost 14 years of experience in different human resources facets in different industry. And additionally, she worked as a part-time instructor in Access Computer School and St. Matthew Hospitality Technology Institute and was a freelance coach teaching dances to kids at Music First Talent Center. She is a licensed teacher and psychometrician, a loving wife, and a mother of two wonderful kids. Give it up for the spectacular Mrs. Cherry Ann Chua Villar. Magandang buhay sa lahat. Okay. Buhay po. Okay. Magandang buhay. Thank you. So thank you for that wonderful um, representation no, of my background. So I'm happy to meet you virtually, all the um, psychology students of you, and especially also to Dean Starr. Um, I'm very uh, grateful and uh, for the opportunity you've given me, ma'am, for joining the organization po and to share my expertise in um, industrial and uh, psychology. Okay, so um, I would like also to recognize the presence of um, all the psychology students and also I would like this uh, the opportunity to say thank you to the uh, second year AB Psych. Ito po ang mga sujanting um, handle ko po, the theories and personalities. I'm very thankful that you've chosen me to be the speaker for today. Yeah. So um, let's proceed with our topic for today. So I'll be sharing my screen. Okay, do you see my presentation? Yes, ma'am. Okay, that's good. So I'll be talking about um, so like uh just to reiterate uh, like April and Curtis said. So let's just be um chill, so relax, and um if you have any questions further, uh we'll be uh answering it later, no? So um I'll be uh assigned to discuss understanding Filipino well-being. Okay, so before that, I'm very happy to hear that um, some of you answered on the mental check that all of you are pretty good, diba? So like Dean Starr uh, uh, um, share his um, mental check uh, comment then kanina, no? So it's uh, Christmas, malapit na ang Christmas. So ilang days ba? Ilan days na po ba before Christmas? na feel na po ba? So I would like to uh, kamustahin din kayo. How do you feel right now na parating na ang Christmas? Okay, so any uh, comment? Can you share your reactions? 
Okay, Rita. I am not seeing your ano kasi, mga chat. Okay. So, any um, comments or how do you feel right now na parating na po ang Christmas? Hi, Ma'am Che. Sabi po ni Kurt ni in love po siya ngayon. <laughs> Yan, wow naman. <laughs> nice, Ayan. ano ha? Maganda yung para, hindi malamig ang Pasko. Pasko mm-hmm. kay Kurt. Magpapaskong single po ako ngayon. <laughs> okay, how about the others po? Um, ako naman po, I'm very excited na um, paparating na po ang Pasko because it's, you know, Christmas is one of the holidays na hinihintay-hintay natin lahat. Diba? It's a celebration of not only the birth of Jesus Christ, but it's a celebration of love. It's a celebration of ano, family gathering. It's a, yeah. it's a celebration for sharing. So it's something na talagang dapat ma-excite tayo. Okay, so that's good to hear. So all of us are positive no, in terms itong parating na Christmas. Despite of uh, uh, pandemic, no, we still feel the spirit of Christmas. So, ganun talaga ang Pinoy. So, dito pa lang sa the way we perceive yung uh, parating na Christmas despite that we encounter uh, pandemic, no, we, we see positivity. So, thank you to those who share their uh, feelings. And um, just to ask, no, um, hindi ko makita yung mga chat. Naka ano ba siya? Naka... Para lang din, I can see yung mga nag-re-response. Uh, uh, parang hindi ko makita yung... Pero may mga nag-chat ba, April? Yes po, ma'am. Sa akin po, lumalabas po sila. Okay. Ay, makashare screen ata kasi si ma'am Che. Kaya hindi ko ma... Sige, oh, just po. help me out na lang ha, April and Courtney, kung may mga yes, mag-ano. Yes, Okay, sige. Thank you. So, we'll, uh, the topic outline for today, I'll be uh, discussing about Filipino culture and Filipino personality. So, our objectives for the day is, of course, to explain the Filipino culture and Filipino personality and identify the typical Filipino culture and personality. So, uh, we'll just uh, focus on the distinct Sa sobrang dami, ang dami talaga, sobrang dynamic ang uh, Filipino personality. No? But we'll identify this thing. Then I'll also give you some of the additional that uh, with a further study, there's so plenty of ano, uh, characters and behavior that can identify Filipinos. Okay, so we'll be having activity first. Yan, so relax lang. So I wanted you to participate, guys, ha, for, for, me, uh, for you to be aware um, kung kayo ba'y Filipino, like na yung sinabi nga ni Ma'am, uh, ni Dean Star, di ba? Even na tayo mga Filipino, minsan hindi pa rin natin alam uh, kasama ba to sa culture natin, tayo ba'y totoong Filipino, what what uh, concepts, kasi because of uh, mixture na nga eh, na nasabi ni Ma'am with the uh, colonizer with the Philippines, no? So, ang daming um, na, um, na i-contribute uh, with our culture and our values yeah, and personality. So I, I'll be sharing um, situations and I want you to um, participate by clicking thumbs up or any reaction button or you comment in the chat box if you relate or agree to the following situations to, that tell if you are a Filipino. Okay, so let's have a parang ta, ano, check, checking of talaga wag Pinoy tayo. Okay, so um, I'll be uh, giving 10 situations no, or sentences to, to check and uh, react on that. Okay, so number one, you nod upwards to greet someone. What's your reaction? Oh, yeah, so security daw ginagawa. Okay, how about the others po? So definitely, di ba? Okay, so... And thank you to those who participate. So most of you do thumbs up, no? Especially pag nakita si teacher, si professor, <laughs> principal, or head, di ba? You, you, you show respect by nodding to or greeting someone, no? Okay, number two. You collect items from hotels or restaurant for souvenirs. Nako, umami na dito. Nako, hindi uuwi. You go to Boraca, you buy kitchen. <laughs> Yan, di ba? Or you go to hotel, souvenir. May mga iba yung nak, um, tag dito, yung mga nasa hotel, di ba? May mga pencil na binibigay. 
di ba? So as a sign of um souvenir nga eh, we we tend to to keep that or sometimes we buy, di ba? When we go to different places, yeah. So some of you agree to this. Number three, you always offer food to all your visitors, especially if there are birthdays, fiesta, lalo na magki Christmas. You share your um food. Ano yung pre-prepare? So, may mga pa-heart tayo dyan, di ba? May pa-thumbs up din tayo. So, yan. Okay. So, number four. You say, hoy, you get someone attention. <laughs> uh, di ba? Sometimes. Okay. Yan. May nagta-thumbs up daw. Parang ako yun, mama. Yan. Okay. Number five. You turn around when someone says, Psst. <laughs> Do you, do you uh, relate on this? Bigla ka na lang titingin si ako ba 'yun? 'Di ba? Okay, so some of you do the thumbs up. Yan, may mga nagre-react button din dito, no? Na parang ako 'yun, mama. Uh, number six, you prefer to make acronyms lalo na sa generation niyo, no? For phrases like OA, which means overact or overreacting, no? So, sino sa inyo yung mad, ma, laging nag-use ng acronym? Mga Lodi, di ba? Mga ganyan. So, anyone? Ayan, may mga nag-thumbs up sa atin. Pinapaikli na yung words, no? ASAP. Ayan, okay. Ayan. And seven, you have a tabo in the bathroom. Sino may mga tabo dito sa bathroom? <laughs> Ayan. <laughs> Okay, thank you to those who are participating, no? Nakaka-relate. You point with your lips. Kunyari, may gusto kang, di mo, yung cues, no? Yung parang, you know. <laughs> diba? We do that sometimes. Yan. And you have a family member that has a nickname that repeats itself. Deng Deng, Ling Ling. Yan. Di ba mga palayaw? Ini inuulit. Oh, meron daw si ano, April, si Kurt, si Kurt ni Ren. Oh, meron din si Novi tsaka si Dan. Yan. And last, you have a giant wooden fork and spoon hanging somewhere in the dining room. Meron ba? Oh, si Dan parang mer oh, meron daw si Dan. Typical yan eh for a ano, yung mga old houses, no, na Filipino. Siguro yung mga iba, mga new generation na ng ano eh, yan. Okay, so thank you to those who share. And um, how many numbers did you get from 1 to 10 to be considered that you are a Filipino? So probably 5. Can you raise your hand? Yung mga nag-react ng 5 above to those uh, 10 uh, situations that I presented. Okay, so... Um, you are true Filipino, no? Because of this, um, according to Filipino.biz.ph, you could see that there are 100 ways to tell if you're a Filipino. You could check the website. So I just presented 10, pero there are 101 ways of telling if you're a Filipino. Try to read this one. Um, you will be um, noticing na, oo nga, no? Ginagawa nga pala namin to as Filipino. Okay, sa so, sobrang uh, dami because probably later we will know bakit so ang dami naman. Wala masyadong distinct na ito pag sinabing ito, Filipino na agad. Okay, so we'll be knowing that later. Yan. So I have one question again for you guys. So, is culture affects our personality as Filipino? What do you think? Uh, you are a psychology students. So definitely um You have an idea of this. What would be your answer? Is culture affect our personality as Filipinos? Anyone you could comment on the chat box if you what's your answer on this? Anyone? Yeah. So you re uh Philip and Leia raised their hand. So it means that you say yes. Okay, you say yes that you are agreeing that culture affects our personality as Filipinos. So definitely yes, because culture affects every aspect of our life because it's what makes us unique and it brings us together as a community. 
So that's uh, really uh, has an impact on our um, character, traits, and personality. Okay, so what is culture? So we're going to uh, define culture. is essentially the way we perceive the word, the values arising from this perception, and the way we express these values as well as the skills they necessitate according to Felipe M. De Leon Jr. So we, we just get the keywords from here, no? Um, the way we perceive values, perception, and the skills. So take note of this four. So it will uh, give you an idea of a culture, okay? Then according to UNESCO, the whole complex of distinct spiritual, material, intellectual, and emotional features that characterize a society or social group, okay? So that's the definition of culture, okay? So you will just get the word of a distinct, so there's a spiritual, material, intellectual, and emotional for a certain society or social group, okay? So what, uh, what is Filipino culture if we, we already defined the culture? So Filipino culture is the summation of indigenous forces and foreign influences that had come to bear upon the people in varying degrees during the last century. So as we know, we already study um, the history. So we already uh, we have um, we we already colonized by different um, national uh, nations, no? So countries. So this contributory contributory factors to Filipino culture. So Indian, Hindu, Spanish, American, Malays, and Chinese. So we we are um, colonized by this country. So it it has an effect uh, with our personality. Okay. So um, what are the six traits of culture? So humans create culture consists of ways of doing things. Like yung example kanina, di ba? Yung may mga, um, si, uh, the way we, may tabu ka, meron kang, um, tag dito, nag, yung mga spoon and fork, di ba? Yung mga, do, to, to recognize a Filipino, no? Culture is public, made of rule, govern actions, become established in institution, gives our identity. So, okay. So what is personality? So of course, alam na alam nyo na to because you're a psychology student. So personality refers to individuals' characteristic patterns of thought, emotion, and behavior together with the psychological mechanism, hidden or not, behind those patterns. So we, we just the, get the keyword of patterns when, when we define personality. Characteristic, yan, emotion, behavior. The, 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 this definition means that among their co colleagues in other subfields of psychology, those psychologists who study personality have a unique mandate to explain the whole person. Okay? Although, sabi nga natin, when we study uh, theories of, of personality, there is no single definition is acceptable to all personality theories. Kaya nga, uh, I'm very happy that uh, Dr. Virgilio were able to to have this um psikolohiyam Pilipino no they uh, he do this um uh, research on Filipino on how we behave characteristic okay because most of the theories in personality um more on western so medyo foreign ang, ang approach so we can say that personality is an, a pattern of relative permanent traits and unique characteristic that gives both consistency and individuality to a person's behavior. Kaya nga tinanon ko kayo kanina is culture affect the personality. So we, we already see the connection of culture to personality, no? the unique patterns of traits. So we, we now define Filipino personality. So it, it focuses on Filipinos' identity, image, and consciousness. Okay, the Filipino's identity is not static. It is dynamic as his background, sabi nga ni Dr. Virgilio Enriquez, a famous Filipino psychologist. So hindi siya, it's very dynamic kasi sa sobrang mixture nga ng, um, ng mga nag-colonize ng country natin. So ang daming um, combination ng uh, Filipino's identity. Okay, so... 
what are the roots of Filipino culture? So, of course, we, we got this from our home environment, the way we, we, the way our parents no, um, raised us, um, yung child reading practices, family relations, family attitude and orientation. So, later on, malalaman nyo. And baka makarelate much kayo. Parang ganun yung family ko, ha? Okay? Social environment, di ba? Definitely. Social structure and social community such as interpersonal relationship and community interactions. Okay? And how we present ourselves to society. Yan. Culture and language directed to Filipino characteristic. Def, uh, definitely yung language pa lang, di ba? Ang dami ng iba yung um, language. Pag uh, pumunta ka ng dialect, no? O pag pumunta ka ng Pampanga, di ba? Or pag dyan din sa inyo, like sa Bicol, you have your own dialect. So, ganun ka dynamic ang um, language and culture. Ng, uh, and at the same time, the uh, character of personality of Filipinos uh, because of the history yung yung pagcolonize sa atin and educational system it also rooted then yung Filipino character natin use of foreign language okay so yung English diba? we we this is a form of our um, way to teach right and religion root of Filipinos optimism and capabilities to accept difficulties so part na rin yan ng ating culture economic environment poverty and and hard life mass media of course advertisement of foreign products or model leadership and role models and political leaders so all of these are roots of the Filipino character okay so meron siyang impact on how we develop our characteristic and trait as Filipinos. Okay. So now, we'll um, just to add on the Filipino personality according to Virgilio Enriquez, a Filipino may be described as one who feels and thinks Filipino and may be one, anyone who says he is a Filipino. This statement confounds the issue especially when we wish to describe the behavior of the Filipino. At most, what we can do now is to present some Filipino traits and characteristics with the aim in view of understanding how the Filipino solved his problem of adjusting to his social and natural environment. So what we could do right now is to present some Filipino trait and characteristics of a Filipino. So, um, hindi niya ganun uh, na-define pa uh, yung karakteris. Kung baga, meron mga distinct, pero hindi mo masasabi na talagang may isang um, uh, trait or karakteristik lang. Marami when it comes to Filipino. no? Okay, Filipino personality. So, Filipino character and personality. So, definitely, you're going to relate that Filipinos are friendly. Diba? Outgoing, sensitive, easy offended, easily offended, hospitable, happy, generous, fun-loving, personal and family honor, are stressed, as well as dignity and pride, easy to laugh, valued education so much, families are willing to sacrifice to educate their children. So later on, we'll expound on this characteristic and personality. Okay. So, we'll uh, give you the Filipino personality traits, yung distinct na we are, we are familiar, okay? So, the smooth interpersonal relations, which is the SRA. So, SR, uh, SRI, sorry. The ability to get along with others in such a way that any signs of conflict are avoided. Diba? Um, uh, Filipinos talaga... Um, it, it under this is yung pakikisama na tinatawag no uh, we we avoid conflicts in terms of uh, smooth interpersonal relations we uh, gusto natin um laging ma maayos walang gulo di ba so what is pakikisama okay pakikisama derived from filipino word sama meaning to go along it refers to the yielding of a person to the will of the leader or majority so as to make the group decision anonymous. It is we identification to the group. 
Well, were you able to experience this, yung pakikisama po in your family, group of friends, any sharings po on this? If if you relate on this point, sense of belongingness, yung loyalty to the group, di ba? We wanted, ano kasi, um, uh, maganda yung uh, uh, relationship mo with other people. Wala kang kaaway, di ba? Siyempre, ayaw naman natin may kaaway, di ba? You wanted to have a, a good public relations as Filipinos. So, do you agree with this? Yes, agree daw si April, no? Okay. And it is a positive Filipino values, which I agree naman, di ba? It encourages mutual assistance. Pa- parang give and take. When you hear, hear the word mutual, eh, give and take assistance. In times of need or sympathy, in times of sorrow, helpfulness is extended to outsider as hospitality or congeniality. So, di ba, yan yung typical for a Filipino trait, yung word hospitality or congeniality. Kaya nga, di ba, pag when you join, uh, pag na, na, na nonood ka ng mga contest, usually, sa makunyari, um, Miss Universe yan o Miss Word, may mga portion na merong award for uh, Um, congeniality, no? Or best friendship, ganyan. So, definitely, ang talagang na- nakukuha Filipino because o, on how we ad- um, makisama, yun yung term, eh, yung kung paano tayo mag-reach out with other people, yung ma- maayos na um, we-, we avoid conflict. Okay? And we also sympathize, di ba? Here, oh, in times of need, kung mga maasahan mo Uh, give and take relationship from the word pakikisama. Okay? So, kilalang kilala yan sa ating mga Filipino. So, under uh, SRI, we will be discussing go between. Okay? So, when you say go between from the word itself, the need for a mediator or facilitator, a third party is used to avoid the feeling of inadequacy in a face-to-face encounter or to act as an intermediary when asking for a favor. So, naging na, na, na experience yun na yung maging mediator. Kunyari, may kaaway dun sa group nyo, group of friends, di ba? Pinagbabati mo. Oh. Tapos, ikaw yung, magig- ikaw yung mag-mediate. for them na magkar kasi we 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 tend to avoid conflict nga eh ayaw natin yun hangga't maaari as Filipino. So we do yan, may mga nagre-react si eh, si uh, how about the others po na na-experience na yung ganun na sa barkada, di ba? Or sa family members may magkaaway magkapat okay sa kapatid nyo. Oh, tas ikaw yung ano pangana, you tend to mediate within the family para magkabate. Di ba? Okay, so yan. Uh, under din yan ng SRI. Then, number three, euphemism. Stating unpleasant truth, opinion, or request with a beautiful language and a fine manner. So, here, harsh and insulting speech is frowned upon and regarded as a sign of ill breeding. So, dito sa euphemism, um, we tend to, ano, mah- mahilig tayo sa flowering words. We, we avoid harsh Sino dito yung parang, ay, minsan hirap tayo magsabi ng totoo, lalo na sa kaibigan natin kasi they might get hurt. ba diba? So we use, um, medyo sensitive tayo in using words to, to especially if close sa atin yung tao. Uh, do you agree with that? May, may mga ganun ba na parang pipiliin mo? Lalo na pag may mga friends ka na bibiruin mo lang, medyo insensitive. Diba? So, we, we Filipinos tend, kasi nga, we, uh, we avoid uh, conflict. Um, gusto natin, maayos yung pakikisama, pakikipagkapwa. So, we tend to um, uh, be mindful in using our words na hindi makakasakit. Kaya minsan, like dito sa example, oh, nasa isip na nung manager, I'm letting, kung baga, gusto niya sabihin, you're fired. Pero he, he, uses, he used the word, I am letting you go. mas mas polite kasi we 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 ano eh we Filipinos have this politeness no respect so na na incorporate sa atin yan eh kaya um nakikita yan on how we deal with other people okay so in Lynch 1970 research on social acceptance he advocated SIR so this 
SIR, Smooth Interpersonal Relations. So, this is under these three, yung um, pakikisama, go-between, and euphemism. Okay? So, we already ha um, know the pakikisama. Can you type P if, if you were able to understand pakikisama? Kasi yan na yung unang trait, trait na we are discussing right now. So can I see raise of hand if you uh, uh, if you understand the word pakikisama? Yan, thank you to those who are participating. Yan. So medyo relate much tayo no from the word pakikisama. Now, this is number 2, hiya. Okay? So in 1965, Mr. Jaime Bulatao defined hiya as the painful emotion arising from the relationship with an authority figure or with a society which inhibits self-assertion even if one is in situation which is perceived as dangerous to one's ego. Okay, you're, you're familiar with this trait of a Filipino. It, it controls um, a large of our uh, behavior as a Filipino, itong word na hiya. No? At the same time, according to Egan, equated hiya with self-esteem, pride, and personal dignity. We tend to say no. Sino dito yung parang hirap magsabi ng no kasi nahihiya? Sino dito yung um, pag may mga pakiusap? Oh, sige na nga, kahit busy. Yan. Thank you to those who respond. So yan, may mga ganyan tayong karakteristik as Filipinos. No? And according to Lynch, considered hiya as shame. Such sentiments is associated with the unpleasant experience of embarrassment that prevents one from wrongdoing. So may, meron din naman tayong experiences na we tend to feel hiya pag nagkamali, tapos nadyo-judge na. Were you able to experience that? Yung nagkamali ka lang ng, lalo na post na agad sa social media, di ba? You, you tend to um, do... Yung napahiya ka, just na-judge, yan. So, under din yan. So, medyo um, due, due to painful emotional experience. Okay? Yun yung sinasabing hiya. Okay. Yan. So, um, hi okay tayo sa hiya na, na gets naman po. Can I see raise of hand? Were you able to understand yung hiya? And nakarelate for sure. Okay. Yan. So, yan yung mga common or distinct uh, traits of a Filipino. So now, let's go to number three, bahala na. So sino dito yung mahilig sa term na bahala na? Okay, an expression derived from a Filipino word, batala. Okay, may mga parang umaagri na rito, ma'am, parang ako yan na. It is, it is the come what may or que sara sara. Do you know the song que sara sara? Kasi medyo ano na yun eh, oldies. Can, Okay, yan. So, what, what do you... Oh, yan, may mga alam. So, ano ibig sabihin ng kesara-sara nga? Any, ano dyan, comment? So, yung word na kesara-sara, which songs by, Do, I think, Doris yon, Doris ba? O Dory? Uh, whatever will be, will be. Yan. Yung parang bahala na. Kung baga bahala na si Batman. Because we, we are tend to be, ano eh, um... Dito, fo, uh, we are tend to be always, bad, dahil religious tayo, di ba? Bahala na si God kung ano mangyari. We, doon na natin inasa. Okay? Yan. Yun yung attitude na minsan uh, nagagawa natin. O deadline na. Bahala na kung anong matapos. Ba, nakaka-relate. And um, at times, rest on the line at this resistance that one, one need not exert any effort because God will take care of everything. Parang, um, yun nga, inaasa na lang natin sa Diyos. Pero take note of this, ha? Sabi nga natin, nasa Diyos ang awa, na kanino ang gawa, na kanino po, Siyempre, nasa atin, di ba? Sa atin. Oh, yes Oo, po. <laughs> definitely. Kasi, um, so, i-avoid natin to hanggat maaari. Pero sometimes, we, we tend to do kasi we, we, we nga, uh, it's part of our culture, eh. di ba? So, it is a fatal, fatalistic resignation which manifested with a withdrawn or running away from personal responsibility. Di ba? Um, the tendency to live initiative and action superiors, yun, like what I've said, the religious belief that human 
mankind is governed by the forces beyond his and her control. And according to Lagmay and Hokano pointed out that bahala na is utilized to maintain mental balance in times of stress and gives courage and determination. So may positive din pala. No? When, when sometimes we tend to ano eh, siguro dumadating sa point na napagod ka na, di ba? You, you tend to say bahala na. Pero uh, on the other hand, according to Lagmay and Hokano, meron din pala siyang positivity when in, you, you need some, you need to pause for a while. Diba? Parang meron kang nasasandalan. Diba? Sometimes when you, you experience difficulty, you tend to pray. Nandun, nandun pa rin yung positivity that there is God with you to help you whatever circumstances you are facing right now. Diba? Pero at the end of the day, like what I've said, um, it's you pa rin who will create your future. It's you who will still be uh, deciding. Okay? So hindi pwedeng uh, bahala na. ang mangyayari. And with the heart, thank you for the reaction. So, okay tayo with bahala na. Bahala na si Bathala. Bahala na si Batman. Do you, do you, uh, were you able to understand this trait? Yan. Thank you for the reactions. Yan. So, punta tayo sa Mingas Google. Nakakita na kayo neto. Nung, um, can I see Rays of Hand? Yung Mingas literally means to catch fire. And kugon is a fast-burning kind of grass. It is defined as the enthusiasm which is intense only at the start but gradually fades away. It could be a hindrance toward initiative and productivity. Okay, sino yung nakaka-relate dito? Diba? Sa umpisa, magaling. Diba? First, sabi mo na first, uh, kasi sa, ano, sa, just to share, no, sa um, junior high, So, may first, second, third, and quarter. So, sa umpisa, first quarter, effort, effort. Pagdating ng second, third, tinamad na, and fourth. So, parang sinasabi rito, yung sa ningas kugon, sa umpisa lang um, magaling. Like, nakikita nyo dito sa picture, hindi na siya nag-effort. Pero itong isa, nag-effort talagang tapusin. O, minsan may ganun tayong pag-uugali eh. ba diba? And it comes, pe, syempre may pinag-ugatan yan. ba diba? In our culture, Child dating practices do not put emphasis on self-reliance and independence training. One of the consequences of this practice is the curtailment of the initiative to plan, organize, and execute. So do you agree? Minsan, yun nga, kanina bahala na, di ba? We, we, uh, we, we sometimes not tend to, ano, eh, to plan, to organize, to execute. So minsan na-train tayo ng ganun eh, ng... Um, um, Ang hirap talaga maging parent, no? Kasi I'm a parent. So, parang ang hirap din magpalaki ng bata kasi it really affects the personality of a child when when he or she grows up, eh. Merong impact pa rin ang pe- pa- parentinghood. As we, as you, you, the way you, um the way I do this presentation, sabi ko, ang laki pala ng impact ko as parents when I, uh, especially on uh, my child's grow up, eh. May, meron talagang, um, uh, Um, tawag dito, effect yung um, child-rearing practices natin as Filipinos. So, we tend to, ano eh, um, dependent sila sa atin, di ba? O minsan, um, child's, the child's life is often dominated by in the, in, uh, overindulgent adults, leaving very little room for creativity. I, ideally, the child should be trained to be self-reliant and to have a sense of responsibility and integrity. So, minsan, sa sobrang pagmamahal daw natin bilang magulang, no? Ay, pagmamahal din ng mga magulang nyo sa inyo. So, they tend to, hindi, hindi na nila kayo na itatrain na maging um, responsible, sila na ang gagawa, di ba? Oh, it, it will see on the household chores pa lang eh. Yung mga nanay, halos lahat sila. Diba? So, um, napaka-importante rin nung child dating practices. No? It has really effect on the child. Uh, dapat there should be a um, independence okay, and self-reliance. And hayaan, yung mga, hayaan sila uh, kung anong um, gusto nila. We, we were, we're just here to support, to guide as parents. No? Okay, or kayo, um, always think of that kung may kuminsan na sasabihan kayo ng parents or they just uh, uh, overprotected. May ganun kasing ano eh, uh, traits ang pagiging parent, Filipino parent eh. Okay, 
Yan. So, Nina Skugon, this attitude reflects the low achievement motive among Filipinos that could be attributed to child dating process. So, hindi na nakikita ng, ng parent yung, yung magiging effect sa bata. ba? Diba? Yung kung hinayaan niya maging independent, hinayaan niyang gawin, uh, hinayaan niya mag, uh, maging responsible to choose you, you just guide them. ba? Diba? So, yun. Minsan nawawala yung low achievement motive sa mga bata. Kasi lagi nilang naisip, nandiyan naman eh. Nandiyan naman yung parents ko. Diba? So, naging independent na. So, it also reflect yung ningas ko gundun sa child dealing practices. Hindi lang dun sa, sa, sa in-identify na natin na sa simula lang um, magaling. Tapos hindi na lack of initiative na for the succeeding na. Okay, so okay tayo sa Ningas Kugon po. Can I see? Yan, so react-react lang po ah. Okay, so ito, familiar na familiar tayo sa Philippine setup, no? The utang na loob. Okay, reciprocity or depth of gratitude is of primary importance in the Filipino value system. This value permeates and influences all facets of the Filipino way of life. So makikita talaga natin to sa buhay ng mga Pinoy. Businesses, education, politics, morality, and religion. Since utang na loob stems from service rendered, though sometimes a material gift may be involved, qualification is impossible. Yan, di ba? Pag minsan sa mga... Ayan, kunyari tinulungan, di ba? Tinulungan may other countries. Yan, minsan may kapalit. Nandun tayo sa... sa konseptong tutulungan din natin sila or kaya sa kamag-anak, di ba? It could have negative effects like when used with the lagay system, especially in our government, no bribery and extortion. Sabi nga dito, eh, uh, minsan kahit hindi qualified, pumapasok. Di ba? So that's the real um, in our society that's happening. no? Um, Oy, ano yan? Kumpa- anak yan ng kumpadre ni ganito. Yan, because may utang na loob nga. However, utang na loob can also be a modern virtue provided it is modified to apply not only to one person but to many pe- persons. So, hindi lang to nauugnay sa isang tao lang. So, pwede rin itong mag... Uh, uh, yung modern virtue na sinasabi is applies to many persons. no In the community... can mean loyalty to a community interest, a commitment in return for a death can never be repaid. So, I, I see the I see yung utang na loob, may positive and negativity rin, no? Um, in positivity, di ba, minsan we want to give back yung um, etong sinasabi, no? Uh, children owe their parents respect, gratitude, and obedience because parents raise, feed, and spend for their children and other needs. Therefore, Children are expected to care for their parents in their old age. So, um, ito yung talagang isa rin sa mga um, traits ng mga Filipino family, no? Um, may, uh, meron ding ano, uh, advantage, uh, advantages and disadvantages kasi minsan lagi nilang sinasabi, oh, pinag-aral kita pag ako tumanda. Na, naririnig nyo ba yan, ganyang statement? O, oh, pag... Buti mo yung pag-aaral mo kasi pag tapos mo mag-aaral, may mga nag, nag uh, ano ko comment to. Oh, pag-aaralin mo rin yung kapatid mo pagkatapos mo mag-aaral. Maraming pag-aaralin ng kapatid dito ha. Oh, di ba? Lalo na pag panganay, di ba? Na ipasa na yung mga responsible. May positive kasi you tend to be ano eh, a responsible individual, di ba? Pero minsan nagiging parang ikaw na yung pumasan nun, nun dapat na na responsibility din ng parents mo, 'di ba? So we we see the different perspective on this naman. Okay? Yan. So okay tayo sa utang na loob. Can I see comments sa mga nagreact, 'di ba? Magpapaaral ng kapatid. Okay, so it's really lies on our roots as Filipino, no? Yung pagiging ano, uh, yung utang na loob concept. Yan, hospitality, definitely. Sabi nga dito, Filipino hospitality acclaimed among world's best. 
'di ba? Welcoming others to one's home and offering the best to visitors while denying the same members to the family. Meron you, you usually do this thing, yung kumbaga yung kwarto mo ipapahiram mo sa bisita, ganun ka ka uh, ganun tayo ka hospitable, 'di ba? Na ikaw okay lang humiga ka sa sa hig. Were, were you able to do that in your own uh sa family, kunyari may mga bisita, anyone, di ba? Ganun tayo ka-hospitable. Tsaka kaya gustong-gusto rito ng mga foreigners magbisita because of our pagiging nice, friendly, mapag-asikaso, definitely. So makikita yan sa ating personality as Filipino. Okay, a moral familism. So the tendency to become individualistic and inward directed Hence, the inability to look beyond okay, the family circle. Philippine society has now become segmented, group-centered, possessed by the tayo-tayo attitude, which are the marks of social individualism. Okay? So dito, um, for, corollary to this are family expectations. So meron ba kayo, halimbawa sa family, di ba, yung... Um, Kunyari, yung uh, family ni nila Courtney. So, graduate na mga law yan. Halimbawa lang. <laughs> o, dapat mag-law ka rin, Courtney, ha? Kaya naman, nasa uh, politics ang parents ni April, for example. So, definitely, dapat maging part din si April ng politics. Meron bang mga ganun na na-experience kayo within the family? Yung expectations, minsan um na na discuss nyo na o oh, mga teachers kami sa family o oh, ikaw din dapat maging teacher ka it lies within ano daw uh, roots ng pagiging ano kung ka teacher engineer lawyer di ba doctors yan sharings the gains one member and gets the entire family um can which can tend to discourage one to more creativity and productivity holding on the children by making them feel guilty if they leave their helpless parents which could be hindrance to success so kaya minsan you tend not to choose yung gusto mo kasi you feel na hindi papay yung parents mo because of the expectations yan at due to extended family ties then no sa sobrang dami ng ng sa family natin as as filipino nandiyan yung um hindi talaga nandiyan yung kasama natin yung mga kapatid natin kahit may asawa na, di ba? Um, this, in a moral familism, the Filipino must open up and broaden their horizon. He must see the supremacy of the common good. The spirit of co cooperation should be present in the efforts made a counter uh, the uh, social evils of society. So, just to add on on this, syempre marami rin kasing influence on the society, no? Um, regard, um, the the way we we in conformity ren with the society as 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 a family okay so pinapakita dito yung extended family ties nakaka-affect siya talaga in our culture and personality po okay so on how we behave socially eco uh, economically diba may um uh, factors involved din dito yung poverty yan so dapat kailangan nagsusuportahan talaga in, in family, no? Okay, the search for a distinct Filipino personality gave rise to many traits. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, yung mga natakal ko uh, a while ago, these are the distinct uh, Filipino personality that gave rise to many traits that are part of Filipino and social heritage, which really impact on our culture, no? Study shows that to get along with Filipinos, one must be fully aware of SRI, which is the smooth inter interpersonal relations, which are pakikisama, and the use of go-between and euphemism. The interaction of these traits is highly valued in Philippine society and found in all their human interactions. In addition, dahiya, bahala na, ningas, kugon, utang na loob, hospitality and a moral familism should be recognized to successfully comprehend the real Filipino personality. Okay? Um, just to add on lang on, um, on those Filipino characteristic or traits that um, I said, no? Studies show that value contrast or conflict is often related to personality traits of Filipinos due to the influence of traditional versus modern ways. Filipino versus school training, urban versus rural influences. 
So it really has connection on on family, school, and society. Okay? So just to add dun sa uh, traits and characteristic, there was a study concluded in 1988 regarding the strength and weaknesses of a family Filipino character. So we'll just uh, dadaanan lang natin to for sasabi ko nga the uh, Filipino personality is very dynamic. So dadaanan lang natin to for you to, to kasi may connection din siya dun sa unang topic na dinaskas ko. Ito kasi it was as a study and um, medyo um, uh, dumami yung strength and weaknesses of a Filipino personality. Kumbaga na na-identify ng mas malinaw. No? Nandito yung pakikipagkapwa tao, strength of Filipino personality. So, nandyan yung bayanihan, diba? yung generosity, pakikirama, which is yung nauna na pakikisama. Camaraderie, yan. feeling of closeness. Yan. Okay. So, meron din family orientation. Sabi ko nga, um, in Filipino, talaga marerecognize mo yung close family ties. Diba? Yung deep um, deep love for family, yung pag, pagtutulungan, di ba? Okay, and sense of belongingness. So, dyan yan rooted. Strength yan ng Filipino. Joy and humor, do you agree with this? Can I see raise of hand? Definitely. Di ba? Ako, agree ako dito. Di ba? In times of, ano, mahilig tayong pag may makikita, lalo na sa mga pictures, di ba? We tend to uh, check yung mga pictures. Tapos, uh, creative din tayo. Makikita nyo later. May, 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 may pagka-creativity rin ng mga Pinoy. Sabi nga dito, jump shots, more fun in the Philippines. Do you know this person? Can I see race of hand? Maraming mga comedian na Filipino eh. ba? Diba? O, oh, ba diba? Si Babalu yan. Maraming mga, at mga ano na yan. Um, sa kapanahunan yata. Sa mga kapanahunan nyo, sino ba ang mga ano a uh, comedian yung mga um, sense of humor glika sa ating mga Pilipino talaga we Filipinos are very cheerful fun loving de ba kahit may mga problema challenges de ba we we really see the positive sides to be happy okay uh, mga hilig tayo sa mga social celebration fiesta eh, de ba okay and Flexibility and adaptability, strength din yan ng Filipino. Kaya mapapansin nyo in other countries, may makikita kang Filipino and they can really adapt to the culture of different countries. Ganun ka, ka unique tayong mga Pilipino. Flexible, very nandun tayo sa a point na kahit ma, manirahan ka sa ano, diba, uh, gubat, you can find ways for you to eat, diba? for you to uh, mabuhay ka dun sa sa kunyari isla man yan. So isa yan sa strength ng Filipino to adapt. Ko an ayan, kung makikita yung mga pictures diyan to give you an idea, no. Okay, creativity definitely from the scrap, di ba? Oh, nagagawa ng oh, tingnan niyo tong um gown, di ba? So we are also creativity in terms of um in sa mga pagde-design, mga uh, native ano ba, mga weaving, di ba? Uh, mga native products natin. So, we are very... Saka mapapansin nyo, most of the um, foreign countries, they really choose Filipinos to design their clothes, furnitures. Do you agree with me? They really see the creativity of the Filipinos. ba? Diba? Yung pagiging resource... Uh, dadagdag na rin dyan, mama, yung resourcefulness dun sa creativity. ba? Diba? And kaya nga minsan, di ba, mahilig tayo mag-DIY mapapansin nyo, hindi na tayo bibili DIY na lang eh. <laughs> o, gastos pa yun. Hard work and industry, strength, yan, isa rin yan sa strength of uh, Filipino. Okay? Um, I agree with, uh, also with this one. No? Kahit yung mga farmers, di ba? Na, nakikita natin yung mga frontliners natin. Kahit napagod nung times of pandemic, we see the hard work and industry to, to them, no? and in productivity and lalo na ngayong pandemic nakita natin despite na maraming uh, naapektuhan some filipino tend to ano to have this businesses pa rin yung mga online de ba ganun ka diskarte ang mga pinoy okay online businesses yan faith and religiosity of course kung mga di ba may mga 
Feast of Immaculate, meron din yung dito sa Quiapo, di ba, nasa rin. So, ganun ka-strengthen yung uh, deep faith natin with God as Filipino, no? Okay, and um, we, we really believe on uh, yung that, that God, uh, yung, yung guidance of God talaga. Because of, of, of yung na-colonize tayo, di ba? So, it has, all, uh, it has an impact with us, eh. Okay, and ability to survive. Definitely, strength of Filipina yan kasi despite na may mga uh, difficulties, trial, pandemic, di ba? Yung sa Yolanda, yung marami, di ba? Yolanda or recently lang sa Cebu, di ba? So, we we have this uh, resiliency to, sur- to ano, no, katatagan talaga na uh, makas- mag-survive despite of uh, what happens. Okay, so we'll now go to, syempre, kung may advantages and disadvantages or kung may positive and negative, there are also weaknesses. No? We, we, we also consider these weaknesses ng mga Filipinos. So extreme personalism, so isa yan sa weaknesses ng uh, mga uh, Pilipino. No? So when we say, masyado natin pinapersonalize yung mga bagay, masyado tayong, yung sa mga feedback, di ba? we tend to, Um, misinterpret um, yung mga feedback sa atin na masyado natin pinapersonalize and also it it tends yung taking in charge then of some of the responsibility no in in politics no kaya nagkakaroon ng corruption eh because you tend to parang wala ka ng ayan no as you can see on the picture no you just abide with the leaders you don't say anything yan So, isa rin yan sa weaknesses natin. Family-centeredness. May positive yung pagiging family na ties, close family ties. Meron din siyang um, weaknesses. No? Yung minsan nga sa family, yung politic, uh, dynasty, ba diba? So, hindi rin nagiganda yung magig- nagiging effect. At the same time, yung, um, yun yung nagiging usual na ano, na kung, kung sa family politics, so dapat the rest, tatakbo na ano lalo na timely magvote tayo di ba okay lack of discipline so minsan guilty tayo dito di ba nakita mo na so gagawin pa rin natin walang tawiran lalo na 'yung nakakamatay bawal magtapon o di ba so na, nabanggit din dito 'yung part na bahala na mental yan yan 'yung mga typical na lack of discipline uh, weaknesses ng Filipino Pasit, passivity and lack of initiative Yan. So yun nga, parang uma- inasa mo na lang sa leader. You don't, you don't contribute. Yan. Wala kang um, pag-initiate na gawin yung, yung responsibility mo. No? And colonial mentality. So definitely it has an effect on us. O, Marikina Shoes ba? O Nike? ba diba? Ano pa bang mga brand? O, French fries ba? O kakanin? O, made in US ba? O made in Philippines? So we, because we were colonized so minsan naiiba yung ano natin perception natin on choosing products we patronizing our own products no okay kanya-kanya syndrome so definitely isa rin yan sa um yung competition kasi nagiging ano to eh um, hindi siya nagiging um yung pagiging uh, envy envious po papasok dito sa kanya-kanya syndrome system no yung crab mentality yan and lack of this is the last lack of self analysis and reflection kasi nga we tend to um um yung humor joy di ba minsan hindi tayo nagre-reflect tama ba yung ginawa ko di ba minsan may mga ganun tayo sa de- decision sa buhay di ba so minsan nagkukulang tayo on reflecting di ba analyzing yung problem we, we just take it ay, may stress lang ako. Di ba? Minsan may mga ganun tayong thinking na bakit ko pa iisipin yan. But the real thing is, nagiging weaknesses natin, we don't analyze what yung experiences na nangyari sa atin para hindi na ulit-maulit. Yung, le- yung learning experiences of the situation. So, minsan na, hindi tayo nakakapag... Nag, uh, nawawalan tayo ng self-analysis and self-reflection. So, Just to, uh, this is my last, ano, no? uh, Filipinos are not perfect. We see naman the strength and the weaknesses, di ba? And it, the culture really affects the uh, personality of Filipinos. But despite of our imperfections, there are lots of traits that ma- makes us admirable to other nations. So for me, Filipinos are great and unique 
people. So just to end my slide, I want you to know a, a people without the knowledge of their past history, origin, and culture is like a tree without roots. So it's very important thing that we know the past diba? because it has impact on the present. Eh. Why, why we behave, why we, we, with this attitude and traits. Bakit kami ganito? May pinaghugutan from the word. May pinanggalingan. Okay, so Merry Christmas everyone and I hope you have a learnings for today. Thank you, April and Courtney. Ayan, thank you very much po, Ma'am Che, for that very informative discussion about our first topic, which is understanding the Filipino well-being. I'm sure maraming natutunan ang ating participants this afternoon, lalo na about sa impact of ng culture sa identity natin ng mga Filipinos, what the Filipino identity really is, our traits and characteristics, and pati na rin yung personality natin, which is yung patterns ng behavior, right? Kanina nga, ma'am, hindi ako nakailag talaga dun sa pakikisama kasi, di ba, hindi rin, hindi rin po talaga ako, um, hindi ko kaya na may kaaway sa isang room kasi grabe yung awkwardness po, di ba? Kaya as much as possible, we really try to solve the problem kung, as, kung kaya natin. Ayan. Okay, thank you very much po, ma'am. So, asa na ba? Asa na ba yung partner ko? <laughs> Hello! Hi! Hi, Courtney! Love it, love it. Siguro lahat ng sinabi ni Ma'am siya, nakarelate ako. Mm-hmm. So, Gawin. Grabe yung pag-a-adjust ko. Okay. Pili ko. Okay, confirmed. Isa talaga akong yeah. piliti. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ako din kanina. Ang dami kong pinag-reactan talaga. Saro. So, alamin natin kung gising pa ba ang ating participant. Ayan, mag-comment kayo kung ano. Mag-comment kayo ng cute si Courtney kung gising pa kayo dyan sa chat box. Dali, Why? Kung gising pa kayo, mag-comment kayo ng cute si Courtney. Hala, baka tulog na. Sabi oh, na, si Dan pala wala pang nag, na. Wala pang nag... Ayan, may nag, mayroon nag okay. At dahil tulog na si Dan at si Bea, minus kayo. <laughs> minus points. Okay, so gising na gising pa Ay, sila. Screenshot ko nga itong mga chats. Thank you guys. Ano ba? Slight lang ni konti lang. <laughs> May mga nagsabi, cute daw sila, Courtney. Hindi ikaw. Sila daw ang cute. <laughs> Grabe. Ako, okay. nakarecord tong chat, chat box, ha? Kasi okay. kita ko lahat ng hindi nag-agree. Yan. So, gising na gising pa sila, di ba, Courtney? So, para mas magising ang ating audience, di ba, um, may pinag-prepare tayo na icebreaker. Ayan. So, ba yung kanya? <laughs> May pa-icebreaker tayo. And, uh, habang nagpa-prepare ng slide, yung sl- habang pinipre-prepare yung slide sa icebreaker natin, syempre, itong icebreaker na to, para mas maging um, exciting, may pa-price tayo. ba diba, Courtney? Yes. Uh, yeah, ano man, yung price natin? <laughs> ano, ano yung price natin? Okay. Ang price natin for today is house and lot. Ay! <laughs> Masyado na may atay. Parang hindi na atay ang kapanipaniwala. Akala ko, akala ko house and lot. Sponsor daw ni Julie. Si Julie nga daw yung price eh. Oh, si Julie yung price. De joke lang mm-hmm. guys. So, ang price natin is 50 pesos. Each. Each yan ha. 50 pesos load. Ano ba, Julie? Anong gusto nyo? Either Gcash or load? Siguro. Oh, kayo. Wow, 50 million. Yes, 50 million pesos. Para lang kayong nanalo sa loto. Kaya dapat mag-participate kayo. Yan. Ay, wait. So, Ma'am Che? Uh-huh. Ma'am Che, naka-screen share ka pa po pala. Ayan. Thank you, Mom. Ayan. Sinong gusto ng 50 million pesos sa GCash? 
ay walang nag-raise ng hand. Ayaw nila nang <laughs> So, aside dito, may meron pa rin naman tayong ano, yung mga hindi mananalo dito sa uh, icebreakers natin. Syempre, meron pa rin naman chance later, pero mamaya na natin 'yan i-explain. <laughs> hindi, bawal 'yon, Dan. Hindi hindi ta, hindi hindi 'yan. Lagi na lang si Dan. Lagi na lang 'yan. Hindi ka ba nagsasawa? Okay, nasa na? Nasa na yung ano Ah, ayan, ayan. Yan, ready na ba kayo? Ayan na. Ayan. So, ang game natin for, ang icebreaker natin for um, this afternoon is two truths and one lie. So, ang iba sa inyo, maybe? Um, familiar na dito. So basically, ang rule lang naman dito, um, magbibigay kami ng three statements. Mag- may i-flash dyan na three statements and huhulaan nyo lang kung alin dun sa tatlong statements na yun ang lie. And ang unang makakahula sa chat box, i-comment nyo lang yung number ha. Is it either it's one, it's statement number two, or statement number three. Yung pinakaunang makakahula kung alin ang lie, syempre, siya na yung ano, siya na yung winner. No, Courtney? Yes. Nang 50 yes. million pesos. Kung sino ang mauuna, tama ba? Pero, okay. um, kapag ano, para mabigyan naman natin ng chance ang iba, kapag nanalo ka na ng, ng isa, syempre, hindi na Hindi, hindi ka na pwede. Oo. So, we have... Ang 50 million lang. Hindi mm-hmm. pwede yung 100 million. Okay. So, we have a committee din na uh, magmamonitor kung sino yung um, um, yung unang makakuha ng sagot. Okay? So, take charge na lang po sa ating committee. Ayan. Tapos, magte-take note din si Judy. Ayan. So, let's start. Bakit parang kinakabahan ako? Hindi naman ako sasagot. <laughs> Ay, ayan. 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 Each player, uh, the players will be given 10 seconds to evaluate the, their decision for their answers. This is the official format on how you will send. Um, ah, yun pala. Sorry guys, may mali pala dun sa instruction ko. Ang kailangan nyo palang gawin sa pag-comment is mag-comment kayo kung paano yung pattern nung two truths and one lie. Kung number one ba, um, fall, uh, fact, fact, number two, fact, or number three, lie. Ganun pala siya. Yung tatlo, yung i-comment, yung i-comment nyo para ano, para ma-effort. Ma-challenge oh. kayo. Oo, <laughs> ma-challenge kayo. Okay? Nag-gets naman na, mag-ano kayo, mag-thumbs up kayo sa chat box if nag-gets na ba? O kaya kahit yung reaction button. Yeah. Yo, nakakita na ako ng mga nakagets na. Okay. So, pwede na? Pwede na tayo mag-start? Let's go. Parang nasa Round one. <laughs> okay. Statement number one. People get nicer as they get older. Statement number two. Feeling entitled leads to satisfaction. Statement number three, 97% of people write down their own name when given a new pen. Go. Next. May slide. timer ba? Yes. Ay, Nine, okay. eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Go lang. Okay. <laughs> Nakaloop naman pala yan. May una nang sumagot. Wait lang. Wait lang. <laughs> Hindi po. Ibalik niya muna po. Pag... Siguro wag na natin gamitin yung timer kasi baka mat... natatagalan sa pag-type. Ayan, dyan na muna natin ilagay. <laughs> May Nakita, na na <laughs> Nakita na yung sagot. Nakita na yung sagot. Ano na tayo? Proceed na tayo dun sa number two. <laughs> Ayan. Second round. First round pala. Ay, hindi na ba natin yung sagot? Hindi na kasi. 
ano, trial pa lang yun. <laughs> Na-error tayo uh-huh. doon, partner. Okay, dito tayo. Ito na ang number one natin. Number one, optimists live shorter. Number two, narcissists like bitter foods. Number three, your brain is doing more imaginative work when you're sleepy. And comments na, guys. Participate kasi malay nyo. Manalo kayo, di may 50 pesos loan na kayo. Or Uy, G-cash. 50 million. 50 million. <laughs> oh, 50 million daw. <laughs> Ayan, mga nagko-comment na. Comment lang kayo. Kahit kung hindi nyo alam, ano nyo lang. Ayan. Let's go. True na yung nilagay niyo. Ayan. Tama yung ba? Chin- yung P is true, yung F is false. Yun na, yun na ba yung ginawa nila? Oo, yung specific na yun ang ginawa nila. Guys, remind ko ha. <laughs> yung F for facts. And then kapag lie, L ang ilalagay. <laughs> Kasi two truths, ay two, two facts. Nalito na din ako. Two facts, one l- <laughs> Two box and one lie. Ayan. Oo, uh-uh, ayan. Okay, bahala na ang committee na yan kung paano nyo iintindihin yung mga sagot. <laughs> Timothy, andyan pa ba si Timothy? Feeling ko andyan. Nakita ko ata. Nakita ko si Timothy. Ay, charot. Nawala ata si Timothy. Nawala. Okay. Tingnan natin kung may nakakuha ng sagot. Tingnan natin kung may nakakuha ng sagot. Ah, sige, sige. Okay, number one daw ang lie. Tingnan natin. Sino ba pinakauna? Help mo ko. Help mo ko, sis. Si Ate Kay ang pinakauna na sumagot. True, false, true yung nilagay niya. Hindi yun ata yung kanina. Ah, hindi ba yun? Ay, dalawa kasi yung sagot niya kanina eh. Si Kuya Philip. Ay, okay. Tinan natin ha. Ah, si... Wala Wait. pang nakakakuha. Ay, meron na. Meron na. Si Ate Kay. <laughs> Oo, si Ate Kay. Ate Kay, congrats! Nanalo ka ng... 50 million pesos! Yay! Ayan. Okay. Congrats, Ate Kay. Okay. <laughs> umuwi. Ate Kay, uwi ka muna bago mo maklaim yung 50 million pesos. Okay. Next. Next. Para ma... Okay. Number one, falling in love only takes four minutes. Number two, an average individual's mind wanders 30% of the time. And number three, sexual desire is biochemically indistinguishable from serious obsessive compulsive disorder. Yan. Hulaan nyo kung alin ang lie dyan. Tandaan ng pag-comment ha. Two facts and one lie. <laughs> Ay, nanalo na. Hindi na pwede ulit, ha? Ay, nako. Ate Wala Kay, hindi ka na nagaya pwede. Na yung, <laughs> nagaya na yung sagot mo, Ate Kay. Go na. Go na kayo. Struggle ba, Ate Ange? <laughs> Go lang, guys. You can do it for 50 pesos. 50 Ay, 50 million. million. High school 50 million lang. nga pala. Namamuli ako lagi. 50 million nga pala. Feeling ko, kailangan mo rin ng 50 million. Oo. Okay. Kailangan ko talaga yun. <laughs> Pang tuition. Magagong tamas ko. <laughs> Ayan na. May nauna nang sumagot. Dalawa na. Tatlo. Marami na sila. Okay, kaya na ba? Since madami naman ng sagot, tingnan natin kung ano yung tamang sagot. Hmm, so the two facts are number one and number 
two, and yung three is a lie. May nakakuha ba ng tamang sagot? Um, tinan natin. Hiling ko, wala. Wala. Wala ba? Ta- di- Wait, nalilito rin ako sa letters. <laughs> <laughs> wala na. Walang na. Ay. Oo, walang nakakuha ng tamang sagot. Guys, rem- remind ko lang ha. Ay, Kuya Rich ba? Hindi. hindi. Go, two, go. Two, two, and one. Ay, two. Fact. Fact. And one lie. So, ibig so, guys, sabihin, yung dalawa is tamang sagot. Pero yung isa, yung mali. Kaya mm-hmm. dapat ang sagot nyo is dalawang F <laughs> tapos isang Mag- L. Magulo na daw. Ganito na lang tuloy, guys. I-comment nyo na lang yung number na si tingin nyo mali. Ayan. Para magkaintindihan tayo. Para mas mabilis na. <laughs> for for na lang. For sure. I-comment nyo na lang yung number na sa tingin nyo mali. Is it number one, number two, or number three? Okay, kaya na ba? Yes. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, move on. Nakaisa na tayong winner, ha? Nakaisa na tayo. Let's go. Okay, number one, having siblings is proven to help with getting along well with peers. Number two, being alone is easier for your health than, than you really believe. And number three, it takes about 66 days for an average individual to make something a daily habit. Comment your answer now. <laughs> one. Two or three? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Ayan, ang mabing sumasagot. Sabi ni Ate May, number two daw. Sabi ni Ate K, number seven. Go, guys. Ayan na, marami ang sumasagot. Yeah. Puro number. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Kung may winner na. Yes. Tingnan natin. Okay. Ayan, number two. Sino pinakauna, Julie? Sino pinakauna? Si Ate May ba yan? Dito sa akin, ang pinakauna si Kuya Richie. Ito. Wow, congrats, Kuya. Oo, oh, oh, si Kuya Rich. Congrats, Kuya. Nanalo ka na. Nanalo ka ng 50 million. <laughs> Yan. Okay. Last one na ba to? Last one. Ika pangatlo. Last one na, no, Courtney? Yes po. Okay, last one. Number one, people in red rooms are also much more productive. Number two, people would rather mm-hmm, people would rather change the truth than change their views about people. And number three, if you sob out of happiness, the first tear will come from the right eye. But if you cry out of sorrow, it will come from the left. Comment your answer. Is it one? Is it two? Yeah, Is it I mean, three? Not. Now. Wow. Parang ano ah. Dami, ito, dami. Sagot natin ngayon. Oh, may winner na daw. <laughs> Check natin. Anong answer? Next slide. Ayun, number one. Number one pala yung live. Wow. Ay, sabi ni Julie, oh, si Ate Phoebe daw. Ang... Congrats, Ate Phoebe. Okay. Nanalo ka ng house and lot. Okay. Um, mag-chat na lang po kayo kay Julie. Sa kanya niyo po makukuha yung prize. Eh, chat, I-PM niyo na lang siya. Since kailangan din ng kausap ni Julie. <laughs> Ayan. So, that is it for our icebreaker. Um, thank you for participating. Don't worry sa mga hindi naka, ano, naka nanalo. Meron pa rin naman later. Diba, Julie? Oh. Yes. Okay. Congrats. So, at this point, may we call Google. again Miss Bea Panotes to introduce our second speaker for today. <laughs>
Okay, yeah. Andyan ka na ba? Oh, Andyan ka po. Psychology at Ateneo Dinag University. And currently pursuing Master of Arts in Psychology. Major in Counseling, Psychology at said University. She was a human resource generalist at Gasme Trading, which she oversaw HR matters. She worked as psychologist one and an occupational therapist technician at the DOH, Cameron Resort Treatment and Rehabilitation Center. Currently, she is counselor in training at SexServe, Universidad de Santa Isabel, and a volunteer of community community-based drug rehabilitation program at the Naga City Bantay Familia Incorporation. She is a member and a secretary of the Psychological Association of the Philippines, a registered psychometrician, a DOH certified HIV counselor, and a DOH accredited rehabilitation worker. At present, she is working part-time as HED faculty at the Universidad de Santa Isabel, and also working as a guidance counselor at the same university. Let's give a warm welcome for the amazing Miss Diane S. Rubios. Hi. Kikita ba ako? I wait lang. Hi, ma. Hello, ma. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Hindi ko, ma. Hindi ko nagamit yung virtual background kasi naka-phone din yung camera ko. Ayan. Anyway, um, thank you for inviting me for today's webinar. So, thank you sa second year. Um, EB Psychology sa iyo, especially in the person of Julie. Yan. So, since siya yung nag-invite sa akin. And thank you din po sa Dean. Kung andito pa si Dean. Thank you po for allowing them to invite me. Okay. Sige. So, I'll start sharing my screen na. Okay. So, and I will I will now jump dun sa talk ko para ano, <laughs> kanina. And I really appreciate pala. Let me use this opportunity pala to comment the Yan. Anyway, so yan. For this afternoon, I am tasked to um, discuss psychology and yung Filipino psychology, if there is any difference and if kailangan pa ba talaga ng psikolohiyang Pilipino na nakakontextualize sa, sa Philippines, di ba? Okay, so that would be for today. So basically, yung context natin ng psikolohiyang Pilipino to, of today would also highlight yung characteristics ng Generation Z since most of the population of the Philippines today is now your generation, which is the Generation Z. Okay? So if you have any questions or reactions, so feel free to maybe chat sa chat box and maybe you can also um, entertain some questions later on sa Q&A portion ng, ano, ng webinar. Anyway, so ayan. Let's start with knowing kung ano ba yung trends ng psychology sa ngayon. So ang context nito is more on sa therapy. Yan pala, since I'm a counselor today, and yun, dun talaga yung bulk ng experience ko. Kasi di ba mahalawa kasi si psychology. We have the IO, we have the clinical and counseling setting, we have the educational setting. But yan, disclaimer lang, most of my content would be more on sa clinical and counseling setting since that is the bulk of my experiences. So, eto dito sa trends ng psychology na nakalagay dyan. So, more on sa approaches siya sa clinical and count or counseling setting. So, for sa ngayon, um, di ba you have your history of psychology and sa ngayon yung focus na is more on sa positive psychology which is yung um, focusing on the strengths ng isang tao so, in, instead of kung noon, di ba, mas nakafocus tayo sa diagnosis, how to treat the illness. So, ngayon, hindi lang na nakafocus sa psychology doon sa mga, ma, kumbaga, mentally ill people. But also, kahit doon sa mga average people or mentally healthy persons. So, meron na tayong intervention for that. And kaya, positive psychology, yung ano, usually use, kumbaga, trend, in trending siya today as it empowers the people more and focus na nga yung strengths ng tao to to use to be able to use that strength in his or her advantage. Yan. And when it comes to therapy, so gamit na gamit sa CBT, yung Cognitive Behavioral Therapy. So ngayon kasi, di ba, ang ating practice should be evidence-based and based on, on the research, on 
sa ngayon yung mga research ngayong ano ngayong modern times ang nakikita ng pinaka effective talaga is yung cognitive behavioral therapy and along with that is yung humanism kasi there are also researches that say na hindi sa um technique yung kumbaga yung importante para masabi natin na maging effective yung counseling or yung therapy but it's more on then sa relationship between the client and the counselor so yung therapeutic relationship between them so that is the more mo, the most important sa or kumbaga sa yung ano fact, malaking factor in terms of the effectivity of a um counseling or of a therapy and na diyan din sa humanism is yung belief natin that persons are good and yung giving of unconditional positive regard and eto naman yung bagong trend na ngayon which is the mindfulness yung more on sa humanism pa din to di ba focusing on the here and now pero yung sa mindfulness more specifically yung pagkaroon ng activities to to enhance ourselves or to condition ourselves to be mindful of the present moment. So we have the breathing exercises, the relaxation exercises, tas yung mga stretching, stretching. So yan yung sa ngayong trend ng psychology um, in these modern times. So ito, usually practice talaga to in ano, sa globally. So ito yung usually pinapractice and even dito sa Philippines. However, ang problema dito is Ayan, etong mga thread na to is based on the weird countries. So, kumbaga kasi karamihan ng research, if you're going to take a look at the body of research sa EBSCO, sa mga different journals, um, mga databases. So, this, are, this came from, parang marakaramihan is came from the weird countries or the Western countries. So, pag sinabing weird countries, it's actually an acronym for Western, Educated, Industrialized, rich tapos democratic. And as you can see dito sa characteristics ng weird countries, medyo hindi pasok si Pilipinas. Di ba? Geographically speaking pa lang doon sa W hindi na. Mababa yung ating um, educational yung rate natin, yung literacy rate natin. So hindi maram parang unlike sa mga western countries, di ba common sa kanila na at least college graduate talaga. Pero sa atin barely high school grad nga. So yun, industrialized. So very an urban very modern so they have these facilities to conduct research to enhance their facilities yan tas they are also rich may pondo sila for programs um yeah for programs para sa kanilang mga citizens and they are also democratic although democratic din yung Pilipinas in terms of form of government pero kumbaga hindi if ano may difference so kumbaga because of this differences sa culture sa characteristics sa profile ng Um, ng tao, di ba, which, which this research came from. etong mga evidence-based na trending na um, therapies or interventions for today may not necessarily be applicable sa atin sa, dito sa Pilipinas. So kanina kay Ma'am Cherry, we learned na malaki yung influence, di ba, ng culture sa ating personality and sa ating well-being. So that's why even in our Even in psychology, in interventions, like in counseling, in therapy, or even kahit sa mga programs natin sa HR setting or sa kung anong setting man yan. So, kung baga kailangan um, contextualize din yung ating mga interventions, kailangan um, culturally appropriate. So, kasi as you can see kanina sa previous talk, um, there are values na unique sa Filipino, like yung utang na loob, yung hiya, and we are a collectivist country. Dito sa mga weird countries, di ba sila, mga individualist countries sila. So, ang pinaka-value sa kanila is yung self-efficacy, achievement, personal achievements, ano pa ba? Tapos yung control, yung choice, yung the right of choice. So, more on individual ang perspective. So, when they conduct therapies, yung mga in terms of laying out counseling goals then more on sa individual lang talaga siya, nakakontextualize. Yung client lang din yung magbe-benefit. Ang, ang Pilipinas, di ba hindi ganun? Um, collective, since collectivist tayo, so as a collectivist country, so may, may value sa atin yung ibang tao na yung concept of the self includes of others and hindi lang yung personal control natin. So that is why we need 
to have Filipino psychology, yung pagsasakatubo, kumbaga, yun yung term in terms of indigenizing this evidence-based interventions coming from the Western countries. Yeah. So, hindi dapat na imported lang, import lang natin, gagayahin lang natin yung uh, mga interventions, yung mga programs na um, kumbaga research-based. So, hindi maganda na, but porque sa kanila kasi effective, ibig sabihin effective na din sa atin. So, that doesn't work that way. So, what we need to do is to develop a culturally appropriate psychology. So, this includes Siyempre, taking a look at our culture. So it's very important na yun nga, nauna yung previous talk para nakakontextualize ano ba yung mga Pilipino. So ano ba yung characteristics natin. And in developing programs, like pa nag-practice na kayo as maybe as a guidance counselor pag nasa school setting or kung nasa clinical setting man kayo. So when you, when you create programs or interventions, may it be for a group or for individuals. So kailangan nakakontextualize sa culture. And we should also take, take note na may mga specific sources of stress yung culture natin. Like for example, sa Pilipinas na hindi, kumbaga na hindi makikita or hindi common sa doon sa weird countries. Like for example, di ba na, nabanggit kanina yung family or be, yung Filipino being family oriented. So ayan. Um, and yung and nabanggit din kanina ni Ma'am Cherry na yung pagiging family oriented ng Filipino can be good and can also be bad. Tapos, so, yung sa bad aspect, yun na yung nagiging source of stress siya. Like, for example, when, when we start working, parang, di ba, ito sa, sa mga issue na din pinagdadebatean today, na should we really give back to our parents na kay dapat ba talaga, pag ikaw nag-work na, mag, magsalo ka ng bills sa bahay or pakainin mo yung family. Kung baga, saluhin mo na yung mga financial responsibilities ng family mo or hindi ba dapat? Kasi sa Western countries, what they do is independent ka na once you reach 18. You don't have to, ano, parang magbigay ng or i-shoulder yung, yung financial responsibilities sa, sa family or sa bahay ninyo. So yun. So yung being family oriented is a source of stress sa, na unique sa Filipinos na kailangan i-please mo sa yung kung ayan na student ka na kailangan hindi parang di ba meron ka mga gusto mga individual na gusto na maybe iba yung course na gusto mo pero sa atin since very family oriented tayo and di ba yung fam, yung filial value yung kailangan mag mag-obey tayo sa ating parents so, so since may ganung pressure that can be a source of stress na kailangan sundin mo yung yung gusto ng family mo when it comes to choosing a course choosing a field na kung saan ka mag-work, choosing a career. So, ayan, may mga unique um, sources of stress yung Filipinos and also unique way of coping with the stress. So, maybe kung sa ibang, ano, kung sa Western countries is more on doon sila sa empowering a person na mamanage yung emotions, na mamanage yung thoughts. So, sa atin, it may not be enough. Actually, it, isa din to sa isa sa mga mag, naging mistakes ko before when I was starting as a counselor. Siyempre kasi since ang mga ang mga exposed din akong research is sa mga western research nga. So more on the lang CBT. So just check the behavior, manage emotions, managing thoughts, i-correct lang and give healthy parang provide a healthy coping strategy. So parang ganun lang, nakafocus lang sa individual. Pero hindi, it turns out, based na din sa experience ko, na hindi siya enough. Hindi satisfied yung counselees ko, yung clients ko. Doon sa ganong klaseng intervention lang. Kasi kumbaga, may, meron din pumupunta sa counseling. Like meron recently lang nag, nag, um, nag-reach out sa akin na student. She can manage her emotions. She can manage her thoughts. Pero, kumbaga, she still has this difficulty doon sa kanyang problema. Kasi kung mag- hindi okay yung family, hindi okay yung relationship niya with her family. So kung, ba- kung individually kaya niya, okay siya. But since may family problem, hindi siya okay. That's why she reached out for counseling. So sa maybe sa Western countries, puro lang self na ikaw i-empower ka lang na basta okay ka, na basta na mamanage mo yung thoughts and emotions mo, nakakapag-cope ka sa stress mo, okay na yun. Sa atin, hindi. So kailangan i-address din yung family relationships and parang kung sa iba pag in-attribute yung problem na dahil kasi sa family or dahil sa environment 
parang sa Western countries, parang X yun kasi parang you're externalizing the problem and nawawala yung responsibility ng tao dun sa problem. Pero sa Pilipino, kailangan siyang gawin. Kasi di ba very collectivist yung culture natin. We care what other people think about sa atin. So, sa atin, hindi nag-work yung advice. Huwag nyo lang silang isipin. Basta ikaw okay. Hindi yun sa atin enough. So, kailangan talaga okay din yung relationship natin with other people and also yung public image natin. So, yeah. yeah. So, maraming differences sa culture, sa sources of stress, sa way of coping. That's why we need to have a culturally appropriate psychology. So, yan. Yeah. I already talked about this kanina na yun, meron din tayong differences sa concepts of the self. So, yung differences naman sa concept of the self, yung, so na-mention ko na kanina na sa Western, um, grabe yung focus sa right of choice, yung sa individual rights nila. Pero sa atin, ang, ang self-concept is actually um, so, parang culturally constructed din siya, socially constructed siya. Na, ang laking um, factor ng social context sa identity ng isang Pilipino. So, hindi lang siya kung ano yung choices natin, yung wants and needs natin, yung individual characteristics natin, but yung identity natin is also formed, kumbaga, based on our public image, based on how people see us. So, malaki, sabi ko nga kanina, malaking bagay sa atin, yung, yung image natin sa ibang tao, how people sees us, and yung relationship natin sa ibang tao. So, these things, are, yung, yung relationships natin with other people, is needed to to understand a person. So, kumbaga, naging basis siya of understanding a person and hindi lang yung individual characteristics mo. Kumbaga, yung internal locus of control. So, if you've met that na sa inyong psychology subject. So, ang Pilipino, so, mix siya. Hindi lang internal lo- yung locus of control nila, pero pati yung external. Kasi nga, grabe yung influence ng environment sa atin because of us being, having a collectivist culture. Ayan. So, in counseling, so what we need to do or in our programs, what we need to deal with or to address is both the intrapersonal and contextual nature of the problem or kung ano man yung gusto mong gawin. So, hindi lang very specific sa self, sa individual empowerment, individual development, just like, for example, what positive psychology is doing na yung strengths mo sa individual, but also yung psychotherapy yung programs natin must, be in, must also be informed by social situations and how these social situations is perceived by the person. Kasi sa atin, sa Pilipino, di ba, kung sa ibang bansa, parang happy na sila pag may nakukuha nila yung goals nila. Ah, oh, sorry, wait. Um, pag pag nakukuha nila yung goals nila, pag they feel that they are in control if their rights are addressed. So, enough na sa kanila yun. Happy na sila doon. Sa atin, it may, pwede tayong maging happy or not doon. Kung baga, ano pa siya, relative pa siya doon sa personality ng tao. Pero what is common sa atin na mga Pilipino is yung positive feelings arise from a sense of interpersonal collective connectedness. So, yung pag connected tayo sa ibang tao pag masaya yung relationship natin and pag nafulfill natin yung obligation natin sa ating family sa as a student and also kung managu-work na so sa boss so ito yung mga obligations natin na na-recognize natin pag nafulfill natin yun and okay yung relasyon natin sa iba yun doon tayo nagiging happy so kumbaga mentally healthy ang isang tao But if those things are fulfilled, if our obligations are fulfilled and our relationship is are healthy. So doon magfo-focus yung sa ating yung programs and interventions natin. That's why um um doon sa mga di ba hindi lang ka naman kasi tayo yung collectivist ang culture. Meron we also have yung other eastern countries are um mga Asian countries. So may meron ding study na For example, sa Hong Kong, so sa specifically sa Hong Kong youth, um, yung sa depression nila is not necessarily associated sa self-efficacy. So, ibig sabihin, yung nasabi ko kanina, they can control their emotions and ignore external stresses. Pero, affected pa rin sila sa mga bagay-bagay. Kasi nga, may, maybe hindi okay yung relationship sa, sa family. Hindi na ho-fulfill yung obligation. So, that is also the same sa ano sa Indian na hindi enough yung achievement 
I mean, yung deterioration of achievement, pag hindi nakukuha yung mga dapat, kumbaga yung mga expected na kailangan nilang gawin, kumbaga mga individual goals nila. So, hindi siya necessarily nakakapag-apekto na, kumbaga, nag-cause ng guilt and feelings of inadequacy, unlike sa Western country. So, sa atin, that's not true. Kasi ang worth natin is not determined by our achievement, but more on doon nga, sa social context, na are we seen as valuable, are we seen as valued by our family, by our community. So that's why integrated dapat, yung, pag, yung counseling goals natin should be integrated, yung individual goals dun sa group goals. Ayan. Sige. So that's why in counseling, so ito yung apat na cultural value variables that we should take into consideration. So first is the Filipino worldview. So ito na yung mga um, mga paniniwala ng Filipino in terms mga fil- filosofiya sa buhay ng mga Pilipino. Like for example nga, yung, yung value na pakikisama, value ng utang ng loob, value ng hiya. So yeah, dapat pag when we do or when we construct a program or a treatment plan. So, kailangan naka-factor in siya. So, wag masyadong mag lang sa research, especially pag Western yung research. So, kailangan naka-factor in yung Filipino worldviews para makotextualize mo yung um, yung evidence-based practice dun sa, sa ating context sa Filipino. Ayan. Tapos, we should also take into consideration the conceptions of self and mental health ng mga Pilipino. So, na-discuss ko na kanina yung conceptions of self. Tapos, aside from that, yung sa mental health din. Pag sinabi bang mental health, ano ba yun para sa mga Pilipino? Like, for example, kung sa other countries, mental health is just being able to cope with the stress. Di ba kasi very fast-paced yung buhay nila? So, kailangan magawa yung mga goals and kailangan makapag-keep up and ko baga may career fulfillment, may self fulfillment na namimit yung rights, yung rights ko. So ganun yung sa western na mental health. Pero sa atin, ano ba yung mental health? So kailangan so far sa ngayon, may mga konting research na like lusog isip yung mental health natin. Pero kung baga more on translation lang siya, pero wala pang masyadong comprehensive comprehensive in-depth na um framework or conception ng mental health ng Filipino. So, yan, dito sa kung may mga fourth year dyan or in the future, pag magre-research kayo, maybe you can also take a look or, um, yun, take a look dun sa, ano nga, unique perception ng Pilipino sa mental health. Especially that this concept is quite new sa sa general population ng Pilipino. ba mental health do is kakapasa lang. Hindi pa siya masyadong accepted. It hindi ko mag-implemented sa lahat. Like, for example, um wala ang ang mga companies hindi wala pa hindi pa lahat merong mental health leave so kailangan meron na yun because of our mental health law so ayan so ano ba so it's very important na since nagsisimula pa lang yung awareness natin sa mental health kailangan more research pa para alam din natin kung ano yung kailangan i-address sa mga Pilipino in in terms of promoting their mental health so ayan andiyan din yung peace and harmony so, ulit-ulit na ako na collectivist culture tayo. So, hindi lang yung inner peace yung nagmamatter, but yung peace sa grupo, sa environment, sa relationship natin, and also yung harmonious relationship with, natin with other people is necessary. That's why, in so, as outside the counseling naman, so in terms of sa HR field, so sa industrial setting, hindi enough na you make sure that your employees are functioning, that they are doing their tasks, na may kumbaga na achieve yung mga kota, yung mga job description, nagagawa yung job description ng employees. So it's very important na may mga team building activities na yan good yung relationship ng ng mga employees to each other and also yung employees din sa boss nila. So that is very important. So yung peace and harmony. So in kahit sa ang context sa school, same din kay di ba may mga team building activities din ang school for the students. Yan. Tapos, so in again, going back to the context of um, counseling, so expectations about counseling must be taken into consideration. Ano ba yung expectation ng Pilipino pa nagpa-counseling sila? Especially, di ba, unlike sa 
other countries, parang normal lang na magpa na mag-consult sa psychologist, normal lang magpa-counseling. Hindi siya stigmatized kumbaga. Sabi ng iba, I'm not sure if this is totoo or kumbaga parang conclusion or impression lang. Pero parang sa ibang countries daw, like sa Western countries, para since hindi nga collectivist, so walang, pag may problema sila, walang mapagsasabihan. Parang hindi ko mo na nag-share sa parents or sa sa friends. Kaya what they do is consult to a psychologist. Doon sila nagsasabi ng problema. So, yung expectation sa counseling nila, pwedeng just to air out, that is already enough. Pero baka sa Pilipino, hindi yun enough. Kasi sa atin, di ba, pala share tayo sa friends natin, sorry sa, ano nang dog, sa, sa friends natin, sa fa- parents natin. So, we already seek advice to our, to the people that are close to us. So, baka, iba yung expectation. So, yung pag-air out is hindi enough. Like, halimbawa, yung Pilipino, magre-reklamo yan na, nakinig lang naman sa akin, wala namang, wala namang sinabi, wala namang advice na binigay, sayang lang ng pera ko. So, pwedeng may ganun, mga rant yung Pilipino when it comes to counseling. Kasi, iba nga tayo, kung iba yung need. Kung, kung sa West, okay na yun, kasi wala ka sa kanila masyadong ah, kausap. So, sa atin, hindi. So, yung expectations ng, ng, Filipinos in terms of counseling should be taken into consideration. So mamaya, um, mabanggit ko din ito kung ano ba yung expectation and that's why, ano ba yung effective na counseling sa atin. Yan. So, that's why according to Salazar Clement niya, so the Filipino, wait na. The Filipino counselor according to Salazar Clemenia, must be able to combine and integrate aspects of each worldview into a harmonious union in order to maximize the client's effectiveness and psychological well-being. So lahat yun, yung worldview ng, in, ng Pilipino, yung kultura, and also yung evidence-based practices. So dapat ma-integrate to. So kumbaga, extra challenge to sa mga Filipino counselors, Filipino psychologists, kasi hindi lang sila mag... Hindi lang nila kumbaga i-adapt yung mga nakikitang evidence-based practice based on research. But they also need to modify pa para maging culturally appropriate siya. So yan, challenge yun sa atin. Ay, sorry, naka... Ayan, can you hear me? Ayan, okay na. Sige, so, let's now go to the generations, T. Kasi ba diba, yung culture is not only based doon sa general na kultura ng isang Pilipino, but also doon sa trends ngayon. And it's very important for us at this time to get to know kung ano talaga yung generation Z. So, ayan. So, di yung focus natin kasi as I said kanina. So, malaki... So, 40% ba Gen Z? So, malaki yung yung percentage ng Gen Z sa ating population today. So, 14 million na Filipinas are actually Gen Z. So, dito na, and yan, kayo na yung next generation. So, kayo na yung magiging next counselor, psychologist. Kayo na din yung magiging next, or generation nyo na yung magiging next clients. So, it's very important for us to know kung ano yung characteristics para alam natin kung ano ba yung programs and interventions that is needed for your generation. So, this is part of getting to know the culture kasi para makontextualize na yung mga programs and interventions natin. So, yan. Ano ba yung mga genesis or ano ba yung characteristics nila? So, an- balik tayo sa understanding the self. I think lahat kayo nakapag-understanding the self. So, this is already... Um, you have already taken this or maybe alam nyo na to. So, review na lang siya. So, who are the Gen Zs? So, Gen Zs are culture creators. So, they are multi... M- culture creators. Doon muna tayo sa culture creators. So, ibig sabihin, hindi lang nila pinafollow kung ano yung mga nakagawian. Di ba, as you can see sa Pilipino, dati very traditional tayo. Pero, doon sa mga nabanggit, ko din kanina ng mga culture ng Pilipino, like for example, being family oriented, yung kailangan na nagbibigay sa family pag nag-work ka na, yung pagsalo ng financial responsibility, some of those may not be true na. 
or yan changing na basta yung understudy na yung parents or hindi na nagde-demand for example yung parents na um magbigay sa kanila yung kanilang mga working na naanak or yung ibang parents Filipino parents is not anymore demanding dun sa anak nila na ito dapat na sila dapat yung nasusunod so ayan Um, culture creators in a sense na yun nga, hindi tayo, yung Gen Z kayo, so hindi tayo millennial ako. So yan, ang Gen Z is not passive users of culture, but they cre- but you create your own culture. So as you can see, Jan, next is multicultural sila, kayo, yung mga Gen Z, kasi di ba you are living na parang most of your life is also in the virtual world. And sa virtual world, grabe yung access sa iba-ibang kultura, you're exposed to different culture. Like sa Netflix, may mga Asian films, may mga Western films. So you know, very exposed kayo what a collectivist or individualist culture is and kung ano pa yung iba-ibang kultura and values sa ibang bansa. And what you do is you get the best things out of this culture. Or maybe, pwede din hindi best, pero basta yung sa tingin ninyo, yung preferred ninyo. So yeah, that's why, ang Gen Z is already multicultural. We cannot say anymore na collectivist yung mga Gen Z. So it's actually, ano na, kumbaga, dalawa, both um, individualist and collectivist na yung Gen Z. Like sa aming millennials, if I'm not mistaken, eh ako personally kasi med- medyo nag, ano ako, naging individualist yung, yung mindset ko, yung worldview ko because mas exposed ako dun sa mga Western films and then na-appreciate ko yung emphasis on the individual rights in the individual welfare. However, yan ngayon, di ba umuuso na yung K-pop, yung K-drama. So, ayan, yung Korean culture and other Asian culture. So, nag-penetrate na din yung Asian cultures sa sa Hollywood or ka, sa universally or globally. So, and, so, because of that, bumabasok ulit yung relevance ni collectivist. Like, ako ulit. So, example ko na lang ulit yung sarili ko. Dati nga, very individualist ako. Pero, since yan, nag drama din ako. And yan, mas na-expose na ulit sa Asian culture. So, bumabalik yung, yung pag-value sa family, yung pag-value sa relationship sa ibang tao. So, and yung, yung respect towards, uh, yung, basta yung pagkikisama and also, yun. Um, if you can see, for example, sa k-drama, di ba, nagrabe yung respect sa authority, sa parents. So, na na emphasize siya and we can see it as something good and like sa aking perspective nakikita ko na ulit siya as something good and like noon na parang iniisip ko may yung wait lang baka ma-disconnect ako kasi si Bertita sa amin kaya nawala yung presentation ko. Um anyway, I'll continue with my ano, with my presentation kahit wala yung visual aid. So ayan, so ang sabi ko nga, uh, multicultural. So that's why um kailangan sa paggawa ng programs ng interventions, so both individualist and collectivist approach na yung gagawin natin. Yan. So, Gen Z's are also, yan, I already said, yung lives in the virtual world. Yan, you value speed and convenience and mga social activists. So, ang point dito sa social activists is that um, you care sa mga social val- so social issues na. So, di ba, because din kasi sa access, sa um, access sa internet, di ba, you can see different information, yung mga balita, tapos kung anong nangyayari sa mundo. So, mas nagiging engaged na kayo doon. Pero mayroon nga nagsasabi na iba na hanggang social media lang yung activism, pero wala yung actual participation in terms of, for example, siging comment sa mga ano tungkol sa politics, pero di man nagboboroto. So, medyo may ganyang criticism sa Gen Zs. Pero but the point here is that Gen Zs care about social issues. Therefore, ano yung implication dito? So, knowing na, as, as discussed kanin, di ba din discuss ko so far, yung characteristics ng Filipino culture, kung ano yung Filipino culture, tapos ngayon naman is yung characteristics ng Gen Z. So, given these things, ano na yung implication nito sa ating ano, Filipino psychology, sa psychology yung Filipino today? 
Yan. So first is a mental health promotion. As I said kanina, um, nag- nagsisimula pala ang relevance sa mental health sa Pilipinas. So, di isa ito sa mga pinaka-focus ngayon ng, ng psychology. So, and to promote mental health, lives, lives in the virtual world. So, ayan, yung mental health promotion, so, ang uso na ngayon is kailangan gamitin na natin, utilize natin yung social media. So, hindi na uso yung pati person, di ba, na, na sa masadong uso ngayon. So ang mas ang kailangan or para mas makilala pa si mental health, ma-forward natin yung mental health agenda natin is to use for example mga social networking sites such as TikTok, um Facebook. So one example, one very good example of this is si Millennial Psychologist. So I if you know Regan Portuguese, di ba very um influencer, so psychologist siya, registered psychologist and she have YouTube um YouTube channel, mayroon din siyang TikTok, mayroon din siyang Facebook. And yun, nag-share siya mga personal experiences niya kasi she also, um, if I'm not mistaken, kung tama yung memory ko, she experienced bullying and nag- nag-depression ba siya? Some, basta something like that. Nagkaroon din siya ng mga mental health struggles. And ngayon, psychologist na siya. And yan. So, ginagamit niya yung mga, yung social media platform to promote mental health and to educate people kung ano ba yung mga good practices para ma- ma-maintain yung mental health natin. And yung mga fake news din, di ba nag-call out din siya dyan? Especially yung mga parte ng kultura natin na hindi nakakatulong. So like for example, may, may kinall out siyang movie. So, ayan, hindi ko na siya i-discuss hindi kasi medyo controversial iyon. Yan, tapos nakalagay pa dyan. So sa mental health promotion, so yung sharing of personal experiences as is important. Kasi sa yung Gen Zs, aside, siyempre, yung tak talaga nila yung pagiging digital natives and living in the virtual world. Since content creators, di ba culture creators, kayo, content creators. So, yung authenticity is important. So, when we promote something, it's good na we share our personal experiences. Mas, na, mas magiging relatable, mas na-re-reach yung audience, especially yung Gen Zs, when you share your personal experiences. And, Yan. Another change sa psikolohiyang Pilipino is yung increased involvement in social issues. If you can see sa PAP, um, yung PAP natin na national, may mga statements na sila on, like for example, being LGBT inclusive, di ba? And then, I think nagka-statement, di, I, I'm not sure kung nagka-statement sa politics, but this is a hot topic today. Kung yung mga psychologist ba, kailangan mag- kumbaga mag-touch din or makialam sa politics. Um, kasi may mga nagsabing hindi dapat. Kasi, pero may mga nagsabing hindi. Since politics is part of the culture, politics is part of the well-being ng isang tao. So, ayan, hati. Yung, yung pagiging politically, in, yung, ano, may mga organizations kasing ginawa. Um, yung mga, yung mga psychologists, mga psychometricians, yan. Tapos may question mark na kung dapat ba talaga tayo mag-involve and magkaroon ng stand in terms of sa politics. Yan. Pero yan, since nga ang Gen Z is very involved sa social issues, it's good na ang psychology is also really involving sa ganito mga social issues kasi makikita din natin siya, hindi lang sa puro fact or kung ano man yung sinasabi ng based on history, based on political science, ano pa ba, or based sa religion, kasi di ba very involved yung religion, yung simbahan sa mga social issues, or based sa government din. Maganda din na may perspective din si psychology dun sa mga ganitong bagay. Like, for example, sa LGBT, nung neutral pa, may mga conversion therapy pang tinatawag na pag, yung mga gay, pag may parents, tapos may gay silang anak, pinapunta sa psychologist para i-convert. So may mga ganun, before. Pero ngayon, dahil nga yan, nag-involve na din, nagsastad na si psychology sa mga ganitong social issues. So, nakikita na na, for example, being or an LGBT member is not really is an illness. So, uh, so hindi na ngayon accepted yung conversion therapy. And yan, meron na tayong tinatawag na LGBT inclusive practices sa ating psychology. And that is also true dito sa Pilipinas. So, if you Kung makikita nyo sa PEP website, meron
happy. So that just proves how socially involved psychology can also be. Yeah, especially in this kind of in these modern times. Yeah. So ito, um this slide is connected doon sa pag-use of social media. So when you create advocacies, when you promote something, so it's good that we have a story. Then like sa mga ads natin, tapos short lang siya kasi 'di ba mal mal sobrang ikli na lang ng attention span natin. So it's good na ano lang short lang siya. Tapos may story, may emotional response. Kaya di ba yung ads ng Jollibee and yung McDo na din. Pero si Jollibee kasi mas consistent, especially pag Valentine's. So yan, yung mga ad nila na love story is very effective. And sinesearch talaga siya, bentang-benta. Nag-engage dun sa ads na yun. Ang, ang mga Pilipino kasi uh, this is, kumbaga, appropriate siya. Or kumbaga, na-engage talaga yung Gen Z. Kasi, alam nila yung profile ng Gen Z. Pinag-aaralan kasi to ng mga marketing brands. Yan. Kaya, what they do is to find a story and get an emotional response. And may mga weird nga, para basta may emotional response lang. Ano nga, yung ano, yung isang, yung soft drink, RC ba yun? Yung, ang weird. Pero effective kasi may humor. It creates an emotional response and of syempre short. Ayan. Tapos doesn't need much of an audio. Yan. So, sabi ni Kurt ni lahat ata ng ads ng Jollibee na panood ko na. O, oh, ako din. When I was working in the rehab, syempre may Valentine's program kami. So, pinapa, pinapa, ano ko talaga, piniplay ko din talaga yung ads ng Jollibee sa kanila. O, di ba nakalibre ng promotion si Jollibee sa amin. Ayan. Anyway, so, with, with regards naman sa counseling, kaya pa ba? <laughs> So far na intindihan, buhay pa. Yes. Beya sa kad. <laughs> Thank you. Yan. So sa counseling naman, so kanina din sa mental health promotion. So ito naman yung impact or kumbaga yung unique sa Filipino psychology when it comes to counseling. So yan nga, 'di ba nasabi ko na kanina, um ang iniisip is mag-adapt lang kung ano yung sinabing nakitang evidence based sa western country yun ay kakapihin like yung positive psych yung mindfulness yung CBT so dito kailangan na culturally appropriate siya and etong nakalagay dito so eto na yung how can we now contextualize this evidence based practices sa ating culture so based on a study Um, yan. So, solution focus ang effective sa Pilipino. Kasi yan nga, di ba sabi ko kanina, hindi sa atin effective or hindi sa atin okay yung mahikinig lang, tapos bibigyan mo ng unconditional positive regard, tapos walang structure. Kung baga, ano ba, person-centered approach. Kung, um, hindi siya masyad effective sa Pilipino kasi hindi na meet expectations nila sa counseling, which is pumupunta yan. Usually, ang nasa isip niyan in mind is hihingi ng advice. Ganon. So, maghahanap ng solusyon. So, ayan. That's why sa counseling, um, it's, it was found in a research na solution focus yung effective sa Pilipino. Bakit? Kasi, um, pag solution focus, wait lang. Di ba, syempre yung, yung counselor mag um, assess the client the counseling to find a solution. Tapos, sa atin, since, unlike sa Western siguro na may, ay okay din naman ang solution focus sa iba, pero kumbaga, hindi siya pang everyone sa Western countries. Kasi may mga type of people din na yung, wag ano na, parang kaya ko to, parang you don't have to say anything to me or to give me an advice. Kasi yun nga, very self-centered and very empowered yung sarili. Pero, tapos hindi din basta-basta naniniwala sa kung sino-sino lang, especially kung ikaw stranger. So parang ganun yung context sa ibang bansa. Pero sa ating mga Pilipino, di ba we value authority and we recognize authority, tapos may we value deference. Kumbaga, humble tayo when it comes to authorities. We bow to them, to the authorities. We respect the authority. And that's why, pag sa mga counselors, Um, sa client counsel relationship, yung counselees, they see the counselor as someone in authority that they can trust and kumbaga knowledgeable. 
So, very open-minded sila sa counseling. Kaya, okay lang na mag, na ano, yun nga, na, maghanap ng solusyon na maging directive. Yan, okay lang na maging directive. Na may structure kayong ipafollow. Unlike sa, sa ano, Western countries, na hayaan mo ako magsalita. Hayaan mo ako, parang, um, yun, let me, kung ano yung gusto kong pag-usapan, yun yung pag-uusapan natin. So, hindi siya masyadong effective sa Pilipino. And actually, turn off dyan yung mga Pilipino. You can, you may be seen as incompetent kasi parang tinitingnan nga tayo, yung mga psychologists, yung counselors, tinitingnan as an authority, as someone in authority na may alam. So, they expect to see that in the counseling setting. So, you need to facilitate, you need to be directive sa counseling na sa counseling setting. Ayan, tapos, um, so solution focused kasi, yan, this depicts the importance of other people's reactions in shaping and governing one's experience and expression of emotions and motivations. So, ibig sabihin kasi, pag meron din kasing counselor-led or counselor-facilitated na paghanap ng solution, so nakikita din nila na pag ito yung gagawin ko, ano yung reaction ni counselor? So, nakikita niya yung... Kumbaga, kasi sabi ko nga kanina, importante sa ating mga Pilipino yung reaksyon ng ibang tao, yung, yung iniisip ng ibang tao sa atin. So, pag pinag-usapan nito, tapos yun nga, may nag, nagbibigay ng input si counselor based sa mga nahanap na solusyon, so mas naging confident yung client na ito talaga yung tama kung yung dapat gawin. So, hindi na kailangan masyadong mag-release ng emosyon kasi usually sa Pilipino, nakakapag-release na ng emosyon sa mga hinanakit sa friends, sa family. So, pag sa counseling, it's better na, or mas angkop nga sa Pilipino, na directive tayo na, okay, ito yung problema, ano yung solusyon? Bakit ito yung makakabuti sa'yo? So, ayan. So, next is family-oriented. So, another, I'm um, sorry, another characteristic ng counseling sa ating mga Pilipino should be family-oriented. Kasi nga, we value family. So, hindi lang yung sariling well-being yung iniisip ng isang Pilipino. But we also think of our family. Yung family dynamics is very important. Yung kung may mga depression, anxiety, or any mental health struggle ang isang tao. So, it's not only because hindi siya marunong mag, mag manage ang emotions or very negative yung thoughts but malaki yung contribution ng family dynamic. So when we understand a person, it's important to take a look at the family history. Sorry talaga sa dogs. Ayan. So I'm actually teaching um family life and child development this semester and I'm using this book. So kay Dr. Karandang siya. So female, Filipino children under distress. Dito ko kasi nakita. So I'm sharing this to you. Kasi dito ko nakita on how yung mga nagtatantrums ng mga bata, tapos yung mga pasaway. So, hindi lang sila because pasaway sila or ano, or kung baga matigas yung ulo, but it's actually a, re- a reaction sa nangyayari sa family. Wait lang, sorry talaga sa... Yan. Tapos lastly, counseling should work collectively. So, connected pa to sa family oriented na hindi lang hindi lang hindi mo lang tinatrabaho si client but you also involve ang um, people na importante doon sa sa kliyente doon sa so, kasi nga yan maybe rooted sa family dynamics yung kanyang problema and you know yung conception nga ng ating sarili is parte doon yung yung others 'di ba yung so yung 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 ibang significant people sa buhay natin so that's why we they should in, be involved in the therapeutic process and we also have this assumption sa Filipino psychology na kung ang individual loob 'di ba ang tawag kasi sa atin sa mental well-being natin is yung loob 'di ba so if our if our individual loob daw is psychologically disturbed yung tao na nasa labas natin, so external people sa atin, pero part ng ating loob, kasi nga, they, they are part of our identity, of our decisions. So, ibig sabihin, pag hindi tayo okay yung loob natin, yung mga tao na part ng loob natin is also um, affected. They can also be experiencing the same distress if we are disturbed.
So ayan, because nga Filipino operates in a world of interlocking relationship that divine and define and govern his sense of self or loob. Ayan, that's why again, so kailangan sa counseling, um, we take a look sa intrapersonal and contextual nature or setting ng isang tao. So the overall positive outlook and affirming stance of this approach, ah, okay, sa SFB dito, um, accommodated dahiya, amor propio, and revulsion for pintas. Yan, so making sure kasi, di ba pag pinag-uusapan sa, sa counseling, na ito yung gagawin, ito yung solusyon, pwedeng ito, ay, to clarify lang, hindi pa din magbibigay ng advice per se si counseling, more on facilitation pa din ng paghanap ng solusyon na kung anong dapat gawin. So hindi... Pero kumbaga, directive lang na siya, kumbaga, na, na, siya yung nagbibigay direksyon ng pag-uusap. And kumbaga, si Councili pa din ang maghahanap ng solusyon. Pero kumbaga, nag-contribute, nag nag-facilitate sa paghanap ng solusyon si Councilor. Yan. Kasi yan nga, pag nare-check siya with the Councilor na kung ano yung dapat gawin or not, so ma parang na-assure na hindi siya nakakahiya. And yun nga, hindi siya mapipintasan ng ibang tao. Okay. So, um, this is mad medyo last slide na. So, pa last part na ako. So, uh, gusto ko lang ipakita ito. So, this is, ito, yung katatagan kontra droga sa komunidad tapos katatagan online. This is an example of a indigenized na evidence-based practice. Evidence-based, evidence-informed. So, ito, um, I nag-start dito sa katatagan kontra droga sa komunidad. So, and as kung na narinig nyo, so volunteer ako as a facilitator dito sa Naga nito. So, sa community-based drug rehabilitation. Ayan. So, ito, um, based din ito sa um, sa Western um, practice. Kasi, meron natin kasi tayong um, standardized na intervention sa in terms of sa mga drug users, sa persons who use drugs. So yan yung um yan yung politically correct term. So persons who use drugs, meron na tayong manual coming from the World Health Organization. So kumbaga, pero yun nga, kahit may standardized na na WHO na mismo yung naggumawa nung nung program na yun and nag-publish nung program na yun, kailangan pa rin siyang i-contextualize sa Filipino na culture. So that's why in PAP, so tapos ADMO, people from ADMO Um, may this module. So, based pa din siya dun sa MIOP, dun sa Matrix na pinablish ng WHO, pero in-integrate. So, nagkaroon sila ng research, nag-interview ng mga persons who use drugs, their families, and also yung mga... Marami silang in-interview para malaman kung ano yung kulturang ng Pilipino, ano yung need ng isang, ng isang tao na gumagamit ng droga. And yun nga, lumabas doon sa uh, doon sa first part ng ano ng paggawa nitong manual na to lumabas na yun family is very important that's why doon sa MIOP which comes from the WHO wala dong modules on family pero dito sa dinevelop na ng psychologist from ADMO in, in partnership with the PAP so meron ng family modules and meron din may doon sa modules inintegrate din yung spirituality kasi importante din sa Pilipino yung religion at yung spirituality unlike sa West na hindi masyado walang emphasis doon so yan eto example ito ng pwede naman ganun based sa evidence based na as proven sa sa West pero eh, gagawin natin siyang culturally appropriate so etong katatagan online uh, medyo similar sa dito sa katatagan kontra droga sa komunidad kasi resiliency So more on resilient, yan pa, parang positive psychology din siya na naka-focus on building the, re the resiliency of the clients. Itong katatagan online, this is for everyone, um, 18 and above. I think may, may dinidevelop na din yung for adolescents. At ito, may, may adolescents na din tong sa KKDK. Itong katatagan online, I'm not sure, hindi na ako updated kung may for adolescents na din. Pero ito, this is for free. Um, kung nahihirapan kayo, you need parang, this is more on psychoeducation, pero parang, para sa akin, medyo group, parang, medyo close sa siya to group therapy, pero iba yung group therapy pa din. Anyway, 
Yan. So, katatagan online. This is free. Online siya na ilang sessions na to I forgot kung 7 or 10. Basta, ganyan. Um, konting sessions lang siya. Less than 15 sessions. Mga 10 sessions or below. This is open for everyone. for Especially for 18 and above. Yan. Para malaman, paano ba mag-cope with stress? So, yan. May series of modules. And kung ayaw mo naman yung virtually na may kausap and sabay-sabay kayong mag-undergo ng program, you can also download um, resources from katatagan.org. Yan. You can find resources from there para yan, ma-build yung resiliency ninyo. And yun nga, we remain positive amidst adversity. So, these are examples of a culturally appropriate um, and evidence-based, noong una, evidence-informed pa lang si KKDK, pero ngayon, evidence-based na siya kasi may mga research na, kasi continuously nagkahanap, kumakalap ng data kung effective talaga siya sa Filipino. Yan, so sa Quezon City, more specifically, dun na natapos yung outcome-based research. So, evidence-based, ano na siya, um, intervention. Ibig sabihin ng evidence-based, so proven na by research na effective yung KKDK dito sa Pilipinas but more specifically sa Quezon City kasi yun pa lang yung natapos na research. I think ongoing pa yung research sa other parts of the Philippines. Yan. So I would like to end my talk on Psikolohiya ng Pilipina of today by this um, quote from a research. So nakasabi nga, so to sum up everything, so Western modalities of psychotherapy may be useful but Filipino clinicians must recognize and integrate more, more culturally sensitive healing processes in their work. So be it in research, training, or service. So again, it's important for us to continuously do some research dun sa, um, on how we can contextualize mental health in the Philippines para mas ma, maging appropriate yung ating interventions dito sa Pilipinas and hindi mapilit sa atin yung, yung sa West, which may not nga work dito sa atin sa Pilipinas. So that's it. So these are my references. Thank you for listening. So if you have any questions in mind, so you may chat or maybe later sa open forum. Ayon. Thank you so much, Ma'am Dayan, for the very insightful discussion about psychology ang Pilipina of today. Virtual yeah. round of applause naman dyan, guys. So, hindi lang talaga culture, di ba, ang nakaka-apekto sa Thank atin. You. But also the generation. So, especially today, na, di ba, sabi nga ni Ma'am kanina, 40% of the population in the Philippines is Gen Z na talaga. And we also learned about the Filipino worldviews and the difference between the um, approach of Western countries. The, also, the conception of self and mental health of the Filipinos and what strategy of counseling is effective to the Filipinos. So now, um, let's proceed na ba, April, sa ating open forum? And Jen, ka ba, partner? Yes, I'm very much alive. <laughs> I'm here, pa, I'm here. So I think um, before we continue with the, ano, the open forum, uh, magkakaroon muna tayo ng may, may gagawin si si, ano, si Julie. Okay. May mga... Ano ba, Julie? Oh, may pa-surprise ba? <laughs> yes, may pa-surprise tayo sa ating participant. Paskong Pasko ah! <laughs> Oo, malapit na. Kaya, um, itong gagawin natin, parang sharing, gano'n. <laughs> Asa na si Julie? Wait lang, guys. Sige, go lang. Julie, pakigalaw Julie? na mo. <laughs> Ayan ka ba, Julie? Ayan. Ayan. So, Okay, so nakikita nyo, may ano tayo, may pa, nakatawag dyan, <laughs> may spin the wheel. Oo, may paroleta tayo. So, what, ano nga ba ang gagawin natin? So, magkakaroon tayo this afternoon ng raffle. Ayan. So, andyan na yung, 
<laughs> Andiyan na yung mga names nyo. So basically, we have prizes then. Um, this time, we have 10 prizes. Am I right? Julie? 10 prizes siya? 7? 7? 7 7 persons ang maka- magkakaroon ng ng 50 ang mananalo ng 50 pesos yes either Gcash or um load and um three three persons naman ang mananalo ng um ating lanyard ayan may 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 pa lanyard tayo na binigay ng ating sponsor for this event ayan so without further ado Julie Ikaw na po ang mag-lead ng ating parapol. Wala tayong pamasko. Ay, wow! Congrats, Eddie! Hello? Okay. Ano, yung wala dito ha, kung mapipili kayo, tapos wala naman na yung participant dito, ibibigay na lang natin sa iba na andito pa. Okay? Hello? Sorry naman ako. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, Tactical. next na. Sino yung una? May, may napili na ba? Eddie. Andiyan pa ba si Eddie? Hi, Eddie. Galaw mo ang baso. I think wala na ata. Oh, next number. Si Eddie. Yep, next. Ayan, we have a winner. Daryl Ruby Buena. Check natin kung andito pa siya. I think April wala siya. Yung friend wala. ko kasi ito. <laughs> ah, Then, okay. Wala ito. Na. May class ata siya. Mm, okay, okay. Okay, next. Francine. Andito siya. Andito siya. Congrats, Francine. Yay, congrats. Okay, another one. Let's let's spin. Nakainan na ba tayo? Isa pa lang ba? Oo, isa pa lang. Julian. Julian, Julian, Julian. I think wala na. Oo, wala na din siya. Next. Ay. 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 Good luck, congrats ko ya, Bernard. Ayan. So itong bali itong first 7 na mapipili, ito yung sa 50 pesos muna. It's either 50 pesos worth na GCash or 50 pesos load. So we already have two. And the third one is Kayla. Ay, dyan pa ba si Kayla? Ay, wala na si Kayla. Magpapabakuna daw. Ay, and dyan si Kayla. Oo, uh, dyan si Kayla. Okay, yan na yung third. For the fourth one, who's the lucky participant? Ayan, congratulations. Andiyan pa ba siya? Andiyan pa ba? Wala ata. Wala na. Okay, spin again. Ala, sino dyan? Ayan, congratulations. Okay, <laughs> Wow, Ate Ange, nanalo ka naman. Congrats, Ate Ange. And then for the fifth, Tino. Borgor. Wow. Wow, congrats, Ate May. Bawasi, bawasi. <laughs> okay, for the sixth, 
Ricky, no. <laughs> Ayan. Well, congrats Ate Rehana. Congrats Ate Rehana. Ano si Ate Rehana? Ano? Wala na si Ate. Ayan. <laughs> Wala na si Ate Rehana. Congrats Ivy. Andyan ka pa ba? Where are you? Wala na si Ivy. Wala na din. Il- il- ilan na? Again. Ayan ah, na. Sige. Six siya. Nasa six pa lang tayo. Six na winner. Second to the last. Ate Charlie. Ayan. Congrats okay na. Ate Charlie. Congrats Ate. Uh, last one. Dun sa... Dun sa pa-50 natin. Pa-50 million. Pero, ba't kasi wala ako dyan, Julie? <laughs> Oo nga, bakit wala kami dyan, Julie, ha? Ayan, si Ate Erika. Andyan pa ba siya? Wala na. Wala na. Wala na. Wala na kayo. Ipotin. Ayan, si Ate Desiree. Andyan ka pa ba? Ayan pa. Andyan si Ate Dazre. Congrats Hi. po. And let's proceed dun sa tatlo mananalo ng lanyards. Yung nilalagay sa mask, mask lanyards. Wow, congrats Ate Agnes. Andyan ba si Ate Agnes? Wala na si Ate Agnes. Wala na po. Wala na din. Ay, andyan. Si Kailin? Andyan si Kailin. Next one. At Rika. Tama ba? Andiyan pa ba siya? I think wala na. Wala na. Last two. <gasps> Jamaica. Andiyan pa siya. Congrats, Jamaica. And last one. Lagi na pupunta kay Lea. Mapupunta ba yun kay Lea? <laughs> Congrats, Leia! <laughs> Ayan. So, congratulations sa nanala sa ating raffle. Ayan, that's, um, yun lang. Hanggang doon lang ang may offer natin. Okay, so, Courtney? Let's proceed na ba? Yes po. So, yeah. before, before tayo mag-proceed muna doon sa ano, dun sa open forum we would like to um thank our following sponsor Julie Paki present yeah. so we would like to thank our following sponsor um love kkph yeah. miss Kyle Adeline Butaran miss Kilo Mota and the ibang sponsor is anonymous na. Oh, my thank you so much. Thank you very much sa ating sponsors for this event. Um thank you for uh yun nga <laughs> sponsoring this event and um we really appreciate na natulungan niyo kami sa um pagrealize ng event na to. Yeah. In addition pala we also would like to acknowledge the following people behind this event. Attorney Santiago D. Ortega Jr., the President and Chairman of the Board, Dr. Hasebi Ballesteros, the Vice President of Academic Affairs, uh, Mr. Roland H. Iago, the Dean of the Student and Alumni Affairs, Dr. Estrella T. Arroyo, the Dean of the College of Liberal Arts, and Mrs. Nariza M. Beatriz, the Instructor of the Second Year AB Psychology Students of the College of Liberal Arts in PSY 105. And 
most especially sa mga nag-facilitate sa event na to. Ayan. Without you, this event would not be realized. So, thank you very much. Okay. okay so Let's proceed na po sa ating open forum. You can send your questions now sa chat box if you have any um, queries sa ating um, speakers. Either kay Ma'am Che or kay Ma'am Dayan. Pwede rin kayong mag-open ng mics nyo kung may itatanong kayo. Or if nahihiya sa chat box, pwede na. 